<laughs> He's not here. We need. I'm not ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. Session zero point seven five. I don't know how we've been measuring these. Still a session zero, but this time we're joining the other half of the party um, with Ash and Brando's characters. So. Who? Who? Hello? Hello? <laughs> so without further ado, let's jump into Wild Beyond the Bit. <laughs> Wild Beyond the <laughs> Bit. <Which light? laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm just going to do the DM thing. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so, um, coming in from the south, we're going to start with um, Brando and Cannon, who's joining us today, as um, Aiden and Xandria, you um, are kind of gathered and trying to track down this creature that you um, have been hunting so you find your way to a tavern just to kind of get something to eat and get a nice rest before you head out on the road again the next day. Is there any conversation you would like to have? Oh, wait, wait I guess where... we don't need, like, creepy music. <laughs> wait, where are we? I'm. Uh, you, right. Sorry, you are in uh, <laughs> Elmwood. <clears throat> the city of Elmwood. Um, sorry, hold on. I need to catch my bearings. Yeah, I, I have no bearings, so. <laughs> um, so this is just like a, a normal town? Yep, it's um, just a, it's a port city on the Moon Sea and uh, kind of nestled between the Moon Sea and the Sea of Fallen Stars. Um, and it was just where your ship had dropped you off and uh, you had been given word that that you needed to go somewhere south of here um, and that was the best lead that you had. So this was just your, your next stop after a long, long journey and uh, um, hopefully maybe mm. going back home. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. So like, <clears throat> I have not been to back to Myth Drainer since like for whatever amount of years. Yeah, it's just been days. about 10 years for you. I think we said. Or is it five? I think it's five. I think I come yeah. back briefly or something. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I'm okay. Okay. Um, okay. Now I gotta remember my my voice. <laughs> I like how this is what? the, like in the last session, uh, or the last group, everyone just did their normal voice. And in this group, like everyone's doing a different voice. <laughs> yeah, everyone's, I, I asked Brando before, are you ready for an accent that might be a train wreck? And he was like, oh, please no. <laughs> <laughs> just pull another Arthur and then be like, ha ha, I was just kidding, guys. Absolutely I actually not. just... The whole time. <laughs> I was making it. <laughs> Full, full commit, 100% commitment this time. Okay. Well, it's anyway. so close to home. I just can't, can't wait till. But all right, we need to do this. What were we hunting again? Probably going after some of them Nilshai. Oh, I would right. imagine. That's right. That's right. That's our, that's our quest. I knew this. I knew that. Of course, I knew that. Yeah, that's I've been fighting time. those guys for a long time, and. You know what? They really are darn tootin' rough. Yeah. No, I agree. I. Uh, have, DM, have we have we ever caught any of these or killed any of these uh, together as this Not team together. that we've been for a long time? Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, because you were kind of um, taken under the wing and take like kind of. It took some time to gain trust with other people, um, and so yeah, you have. This is your first hunt. Um, so. But I'll tell you what, you really don't want to be going after Nilshai on an empty stomach. Come on, bub. Let's go on down to one of these little restaurants here and let's find us some fried potatoes with maybe a little bit of a, a meat reduction sauce that they could kind of put on top of it. 
I think it uh, would really hit the spot. Maybe put a little bit of cheese curds on there. That sounds so good. Yeah. Let's do it. With the eat back in my hometown, it's kind of a specialty. Let's go. Let's go. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Okay, so you're able to make your way down to uh, to the tavern, and inside it's starting to pick up for um, for the evening. Um, the The tables are starting to fill, and in the corner of the tavern, there's a musician kind of like tuning some instruments and uh, getting ready to to start the performance. And you can kind of feel this this aura of anticipation and excitement in the room. What, um, like, class of um, establishment when you say this is? Like a very, is this like a fancy? It's not like top of the line. Uh, you're not staying at the Ritz, but unless, would you guys stay at the Ritz? Or are you looking for more like, you know, Holiday Inn? Like, a nice place, but, yeah, you like know, it's, it's not friendly. Like we're going to be sleeping in our armor here, but like... No, yeah. It's safe, um, but you're not like draining your pockets to try and stay here for one night. Gotcha, okay. Um, so I'm going to go over to the, um, the um, musicians that are tuning their instruments, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pull out my hand drum and okay. I'm just oh what, what kind of music do you folks like to be playing there eh well you'll notice that it's actually just one musician and Ash would you like to describe what uh, you're doing to kind of prepare for your show tonight and what what they see when when he approaches so uh, so you see a, a half elf a blonde half elf um, and sort of like some clothes that look like they've been folded or crumpled up and just recently like unfolded to to be put on and um she is in between playing uh, tuning her tuning her viol and um and then like occasionally doing some warm up scales uh with along with her her viol so, uh, so when you approach and ask that, she's like, Oh, uh, well, I'm not sure right now. I'm, I've got a big repertoire, but, uh, what do you think? What do you think that they'll be playing? Well, not, I'm playing. What do you think they would want? I, I'm not sure. It's a little further inland than I'm used to, so, you think they'll be fun with the sea shanty? Oh, you know, I think that sea shanties would probably do all right around here. We just came off of a ship ourselves. And, uh, you know, I think that a lot of people are really kind of into those kinds of tunes there, eh? Oh, definitely. I I just, uh, <laughs> you can never tell how far in and, like, eventually someone is going to be like, Hey, we want something more, uh... They say we're fine, but it's so silly because, like, they don't know, they don't understand, like, how complex, like, sea shanties can get, and it's just so beautiful, and, like, and then I have to show, prove it because, because then they're just being the refinement, in the, the refinement, like, is in the simplicity, you know? It's like, that beauty really comes when it's so stripped down and minimalistic, you can totally mm. get, like, all of the musical talent from the performers, you know? Oh, absolutely. Oh, uh, so, uh, you, uh, can you describe your character to me? Cause I have no, uh, cause I'm having a hard time conceptualizing and, your character. And before you do, um, uh, Xantria, what are you doing while, uh, Awen had walked up? Um, I was, so I've been kind of imagining I'm still within hearing distance. Okay. Um, and so, but I'm like at whatever table or, or spot. Yeah, just like snagged a table and kind of watching. Yeah, okay. I like sea shanty. Get it? <laughs> I want that. 
Okay, would you guys like to describe your characters? Who would you like to describe first? Either way, go for it. Okay. Um, so I'm about uh, five foot seven, uh, about a little, little, probably right around 200, 215 pounds, um, just straight yoked. Um, I forgot what color I said my hair was, but I changed my mind because now he's just got a completely shaved head, shaved face. <laughs> um, he's a, a very exotic looking elf, um, not like any type of elf you've ever seen before. Um, he's got kind of, I think we agreed upon orange skin and purple eyes. Ooh. Um, and uh, he's got just a kind of smallish hand drum, kind of like a tambourine without the jingly janglies. Um, but he's um, not wearing a helmet because you can obviously see his head, but he's uh, fully decked out in plate armor. Oh, okay. okay, nice. And Brando, kind of creeping from the distance. As you yell, I, I like sea shanties. I like sea shanty. What does Ashley see? Uh, um, so. An angry I... dwarf just sitting there. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! And... <laughs> how'd, how'd you travel back in time? <laughs> Um, so you see a, uh, hold, pause for dramatic effect. Forgot how tall I said I was. Seven feet. Seven foot tall, purple amethyst, gym dragon. So, dra dragon, dragon born, dragon. Nope, just straight up dragon. Seven <laughs> foot tall one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, she has... What's interesting to note about gym dragons is that they actually have like, like the areas of like their hair, for example, and things like this. It it actually looks like these like floating gems, like broken up, it making but still shaping like these like dreadlocks, if you will. Um. On her back, you'll notice uh, a longbow um, that has a nice, beautiful amethyst um, pre uh, nested into it, and um, I'm trying to think what else for descriptions. I got nothing. And that's it. That's all you see. That's it. <laughs> just okay. It's she's just wearing, black she's wearing light light gear. You know, she's light armor kind of person. Um, yeah. Green, purple cape. We did go with the cape, right? Sure. I think we did. Go with a cape. We can have a cape. Yeah. I mean, I, I put it on your cape. your token, but I don't think I've drawn you with a cape. But oh well, I can from now on. <laughs> I can't remember. I felt like, anyways. No so, caps. No caps. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, so like, she hears, she hears, um, you, you shout out, I'm, I'm going to see she's doing see she and she, and she puts on like, like, um, you can see she instantly puts on like the performer face. Like just sort of the eyes get a little bit wider, just so, so, so that like like oh totally interested in everything that everyone's saying, and then the smile gets a little bit wider, and she's and she says in a slightly um, louder voice, just sort of to carry over to the um it, to to not just the the dragonborn who's called it out but just to the entire tavern but if it is a sea shanty you want then it is a sea shanty you get and then i start playing and if i were more prepared i would totally be singing the sea shanty right now yeah. but you're good 
Why don't you go oh, ahead and make a performance check? Alrighty. First roll of tonight. Yay! Performance! I'm bad at these! No, I'm not just <laughs> Is that just gonna be the thing for the entire campaign? Maybe. Okay, it is a moving performance. As you guys kind of sit and um, gather, get some dinner while you enjoy the show, It there are parts where... Um, where like you're tapping along um a when you're like hitting your hand drum at the table just like bopping along um and then as she switches into more kind of ballads it there are parts where some of the audience is almost brought to tears as her her voice is moving and kind of brings the room together in a sense of almost camaraderie um and as she takes her final bow um there's just thunderous applause as Um, she is like covered in a little bit of sweat, takes a drink of water and then kind of steps down from the stage. Si, merci. I am finished for today, but hopefully you would get a chance to hear from me tomorrow evening. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna, yeah. That was so awesome. That was great. I loved it. Yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna just sort of gravitate over to, uh, to the two I have met, and and uh, I'm going to say, I want to thank you so much for the, for your participation with the drum. It is, it's kind of difficult to do it without a drum sometimes, because you know, as you heard. Some people like to speed up a little bit when they're doing the clapping and the stomping. But you were able to stay in time with it, which was very helpful. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I... you're you're quite welcome there, ma'am. You know, it, a good percussionist is hard to beat, you know. Get it? Hard to beat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a drum joke. Uh, take 1d4 <laughs> psychic damage. No, just kidding. <laughs> She, she, she actually laughs at it. She's like, that is a really funny joke. I love it. I am so sorry. I forgot to introduce myself to you. You may call me the Zephyr. Uh, and what uh, are your names? I am so sorry that I did not ask before. No worries. I'm Awin. Awin Yenstrata. This is when... my friend. I'll let, I'll let my good friend introduce themselves. Oh yes, I'm I'm Zandria Zandria Mon. Zandria Mon, and even I am so sorry I forgot your last name. That was it was a bit of a mouthful just to hear it. Can you say it again? I just want to make sure I get it right. Yeah, it's Zinstrada. Zinstrada. Yeah, it's Zinstrada. Wonderful. Again, thank you so much. I am very appreciative. Oh, of course. Hey. How about you sit down and eat some potatoes, fry them up a little bit with kind of like um, animal fat reduction on top. It's super delicious. Trust me, we'll throw in some cheese curds and it'll be good to go, eh? <laughs> that would be very wonderful. Thank you so much for, for letting me come sit with you. And I, that actually does sound delicious. I think I will order some of that. Um, so I can do that. Okay, so you go um, to the the barkeep to order them, and they'll be like, for for Zephyr. It's on the house, and they'll hand you, you a plate. Uh, oh, are you that sure? was a mighty, just... mighty fine performance tonight. Oh, thank you very much. It uh, it could not have been possible with such a wonderful venue that has a wonderful. Uh, uh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, Elmwood? Acoustic. That's the award. Oh. Acoustic. Acoustic. Oh, well, you know, I didn't really have much say in how the building was made, but, uh, I do appreciate you coming around every few months and, uh, you Thank always you. bring in good business. Of course. And, uh, have you seen the man I described to you? Um, uh, fits the description of a fellow that headed south from here not too mm-hmm. long ago. Right. Um, well, thank you again. Are you sure you do not want payment for this? 
No. I've had uh, plenty of payment. If you could just con- continue to encourage the other patrons to, uh, you know, enjoy the meal, grab a drink to enjoy the, the festivities, that kind of stuff, It then the plate is on the house. Oh, thank you so much. I shall endeavor to do that. Have I'll... a fine night. Uh, you as well. Go back over to them, just take a seat, and head on with nom 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 on my uh, totally not poutine. It's totally not poutine. <laughs> totally not poutine. <laughs> it's boutin. 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 Well, how are you like Legally distinct poutine. <laughs> <laughs> How you like in your fantastic treat from up north there, eh? It is very delicious. I did not. It, it's a. Are the cheese curds supposed to be that squeaky? Oh yeah, the squeakier the better. Okay. I have never tried this before. This is actually very good. Thank yeah, you for you recommending know, it. Yeah, you you kind of tell somebody they ought to try it. But you don't get a captive audience. It sounds kind of weird, you know, but <laughs> you actually sit down and eat it and you'll find out how good it really is. Yes, it is very good. So what brings you all to this area? Well, we're heading south from here. Um, we're kind of on a little bit of a journey of self-discovery and uh, initiation from my good friend here and i go to slap you on the shoulder but it only comes up to apparently like your mid like lo- mid lower back because of how <laughs> you're seven feet tall <laughs> how tall are you how tall are you i'm seven <laughs> i'm six <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, so oh, initiation, yeah, like oh, into yeah. a a group of good old Nilshay hunters, yeah. Isn't that Nilshay? 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 Oh Nilshay. yeah, it's just Nilshay. 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 Nilshay hunters, yeah. I've never heard of them. What? Do uh, make an intelligence check or Arcana or have. Okay. Um. Well, let's go with Arcana. Oh, I should have said something. Sounds like uncomfortably familiar about that word, Mm -hmm. but you can't place it. Is a is a nilshai? Is that something that I would like be like talk about freely and openly, or is that kind of like a secret thing? I mean, most people here don't even know or believe that they exist. So it'd be like um, talking about like Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah. Like but, a, so there's like if if you would feel open talking about yeah we're going to go oh, hunt yeah, Bigfoot. I would, oh, I would. Yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Then then you would talk about this. Okay. Um, yes, I, I don't. That, that sounds familiar. Uh, would you be? Is it too much of me to ask? Uh, what the, what a nil shy is? Well, I'd oh, just no. tell you. Oh, go, go right ahead. Let's let well, the apprentice kind of do you, you learn best by teaching someone else. So it's a good idea to let him know or let the let her tell you everything so that way she can cement the knowledge that's in her brain, you know? That's, that's, well, that, is that was a, a nice lead up. I was just about to say that uh, I just would call it like a boogeyman, and I figured you have a better description than I do. Oh, no She's worries. Gonna say- Oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I've I've got a great description for you, and uh, with that, I would I'll say all the stuff my character would say, but it's going to sound a lot less Canadian and a lot more like our DM. <laughs> <laughs> um. So he, he would tell you that Anil Shai is a creature from a different plane of existence um, that has actually run his people um, first off of the material plane and then run them out of the the plane that they were sent to. Um, And they are just 
mage haters, but also proficient mages themselves. Um, and that they come to the material plane for different reasons and no one really knows why, but they're never here for a good reason. Like it's never something good that they're doing here. Okay. Always and that trouble. is why we are nil shy hunters. Do they ever m mention like the word beast or anything like that? Yeah. Oh. There's some gnarly beasts out there. They're just, you know. <laughs> so gnarly. Oh, that was an awful Canadian accent. Don't mind me. Um, you go with your French, French Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you were French, I was going to be like, oh, you must be from the eastern part of my country. That's what I wanted to make a joke like that, too, so bad. I was like waiting for the moment. I just didn't know how. <laughs> well, you found it. There we go. Uh. <laughs> Uh, so you say it is a beast that you are hunting? Oh, yeah. Definitely. I'd say he's quite beastly. Um, it's such a strange coincidence. Uh, do you no happen to know of a man named Lamar Paddler? Would I have heard of Lamar Paddler? Baudelaire. Baudelaire. Uh, go ahead and make an intelligence check. Test Ooh, your memory. I, I thought you guys were making a Lumiere joke or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a candlestick. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't sound spend, familiar. Oh, I'm going to spend sorry. some luck. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> uh, it doesn't sound familiar. Mm, can't say I've ever heard of this fella. Well, uh... So, I have been looking for this Lamar uh, for some time. Uh, he's always just been like a day or two away. And uh, the last I heard, he was going south of here. And he was... Um, he had been he had been heard mentioning that he was going to kill a beast himself. And so... <clears throat> I, uh, th this is probably like a, I mean, it is up to you. I am, I'm leaving this up to you since this is your quest. This is your initiation, but would you be willing to let me uh, tag along to see if I can find this Lamar? Oh, oh, I don't see any reason why not. What about you? I think it's a great idea. More the merrier. Wonderful. Yeah, it'll make things a little more lively having some tunes to go with just the beat, you know? <laughs> of course, I'm... Well, I have a tendency to be playing just random songs that ever pop in my head. Some people have called it annoying, which, it, to be fair, like, if it doesn't, it can sometimes not stop for a while. But, uh, I can... But yes, I will... I am happy to bring along the wonderful entertainment so that we can be not bored together. So while she was kind of like rambling. Um, <gasps> okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. It was <laughs> ramble. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> while she was like rambling, I like kind of started to like pick up like a fork from our table and I'm like looking at it and just, and I go to like see how, how like kind of the quality, if you will. And I accidentally just like bend it in half. Okay. Oh, you've got a bed just, fork in your hand. And I just Whoa. put it down as I'm still listening to her ramble. Unless that distracted Whoa. me too much. No, that would have distracted me. I just look over. Whoa. It's, oh, the, the quality is horrible. I'll just, here, I'll, I'll... And I, like, try to I mean, straighten it back out. And it I mean, like, has like that wonky. characteristic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, they're, they're rather thick. So too bad. Wait, what? They're rather thick. Oh. <laughs> what? I'll, I'll DM you what I heard, friend. <laughs> <laughs> sounded like as soon as it came out, I was like, "Oh, that sounded too much like that other word." Um, that is, you you, could, you won't see me being able to do that. That is very impressive. 
what the? So you, I see that you have a boat. Do you do anything else? In terms of like combat? Oh no, I I just I'm I really enjoy. I really enjoy the bow and arrow. It's it's my favorite. I've been doing this since I was really young. Ah. Okay. I have no I have no idea what else to say right now. I just we just continue just general just sort of like small talk as as I continue eating the legally distinct poutine. Okay. As you're eating legally distinct poutine, um, outside you'll hear a little bit of a commotion, like not like danger, but um, you'll hear some sort of like excitement. Um, and uh, let me try and do, 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 do. Uh, do that one. Oh, that's loud. Sorry. And the door will like burst open, and there will be um, a man that, for lack of a better way of describing him, looks like an angel. He's got like the, this very um, almost luminous blonde hair, and he's got these large white bird wings that extend beyond his back. And he's dressed in these very flashy clothes and starts handing out flyers. Well, people of Elmwood, I just wanted to bring the good news that not far from here, uh, your region has been chosen to host the next Witchlight Carnival. So, gather your things, collect your, uh, your silvers, and see if you have the, l the gift of luck on your side as you make your way soon to the Witchlight Carnival. And then he'll kind of like shake hands and like talk to people, um, and just be very much a presence in the ta in the tavern. So while he's doing that, before he would get to us, I like I turn to Arwen, and and even I turn to both of them. There's, oh, a carnival! Oh, this is gonna be great. We, are, can we? Oh, do, do I no. know? Do I know of the Witchlight Carnival? Um, let Brando finish his thing first, okay. and then you can do a roll for it. No, that was I was about okay. it. I was just okay. excited and wanted to go to a carnival. But I did kind of have the same kind of question, if which light would have rung a bell. From you guys can make a history check. I'll, I'll do that. So many straight rolls. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Go cannon. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys haven't quite heard of it. Um, Zephyr, you've read about it. You've never seen it get close enough. Um, you know that it's a traveling carnival, but uh, unlike most carnivals, it's a carnival that travels across the plains um, and will pop up every few years in a different part of Faerun. So I, I do know that it's like separate from from the planes, or at least it's separate from this plane. Like it's it's its own <laughs> carnival. Um, it's hard to tell what because you haven't read about it enough to um, know like which plane it originated from. Just that it travels across the plains and brings joy and is a fun carnival. Do it's you been say talked this about to enough us? to be in books yeah I, I would mention it is a it's an interesting carnival that travels again across the plains like it's not just like it's separate from Faerun but the uh, interplaner I've been to another yes. plane before I think this is awesome oh, you've been to another plane before which one uh, to the to the fake 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 yeah pipi 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 <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Feywild, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I just had a brain fart, and I was like, it's not Fey peaceful. Okay, <laughs> so. Um, oh, I've just, you know, I've just been to the Feywild once. It was amazing. I, oh, I met some of the most interesting people. I've got some stories I can tell you for sure. The Feywild? The Feywild? <laughs> 
yeah, yeah. Uh, you've been to the f whoa. What? I said whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've, I mean, what? You've never. I mean, I've heard stories about like place? the Feywild being like beautiful and the, uh, but also dangerous. How did you survive? What? How did you survive? I, uh, I mean, it was pretty easy. I just had to shoot some weird. What were those things that attacked us? You don't pixies. Know. Oh, well, they were yeah, like pixie-ish we type things, right? Some sort of little fast little boogers. Yeah, yeah. I'll just call them pixies. I just had I just had to fend off these weird pixies from a unicorn, but that was about it. Yeah. That is about it. Okay. Yeah. And then they they let us. The unicorn helped that is about it. Okay. helped us find our way back out and. Yeah, it was awesome. I've always oh. been hoping to go back one day, but I mean, who knows what plane these guys go to? But I just, yeah, it was amazing. I love it. He'll kind of come to your table and interrupt you guys. Pretty cool, like that. Huh? I said that unicorns are generally pretty cool, <laughs> like that. Yeah, unicorns, that. you all. Yeah. They My have guy. unicorns at the at the Witchlight Carnival, so please. Can I interest the three of you in purchasing some tickets ahead of time? Uh, oh, how many loonies is it can I cast me? Uh, it's, <laughs> ooh, I forgot to look up. I want to say it's two silver. Let me see. Let's say five silver for now, and then I'll just refund you later. Five silver, and I get to see a unicorn? All right, sounds like a plan to me. Oh, yeah, I'm in. All right, he'll take your money and then hand you these like uh, sort of shimmering iridescent pieces of paper um, that just have which like carnival admit one written on them. I will take one as well. Here you are. Now it'll be a few months until we fully, you know, work out the location of it. Um, but it will be somewhere in this region, and uh, the location will appear right on your ticket, as you know, your pre-orders. That is really interesting. I'm so sorry. Uh, what is your name? You can call me Norsan the Great. Norsan the Great. Yes. Northend. Norsan. Norsan. The great. Okay. Well, it is very good to meet you, your son, the great. Great to meet you, too. Can I get the names of you, lovely folk? You may call me Zephyr. And, uh, I'm Xandria. And I'm Awen Yenstrata. A pleasure. And he'll kind Good of hold his hand too. out for you. It's got like three rings on every finger. Oh, wow. That's quite a lot of rings he's got there on his fingers, isn't uh, it, guys? I go, I, go, <laughs> I go ahead and shake his hand. Well, I hope to see you all very soon and enjoy the rest of your evening. He'll Thank kind of you. put your you coins in his pocket and move on to the next table. Have you guys ever seen somebody wearing that many rings? Like, I think he's got more rings on each finger than I've seen most people ever have rings. I've never seen... Like, I've seen maybe one professor that I had. But he was very pretentious, so that makes sense. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> well, I... When, when do you plan on uh, leaving to uh, go hunt this Nilishai? Well, you know, I got a pretty full belly. Got a bunch of spuds in there now. I'm probably gonna head off to catch some old shut eye pretty soon. Probably, right. what do you say, in the morning? Yeah, the morning's great. Like sunrise or. Yeah, bright yeah. and early. That'll work for me. Alrighty. Well, uh, 
I believe I am getting a bit out of this time, so I will see you both in the morning. All right, sounds good. Quick question. Um, I yep. totally forgot my conversion rates. Is it 10 or 100 silver pieces? 10 to ten. a gold. 10 to, ten to a gold, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not a hundred? Oh. No. I was like, I just, I just, yeah. <laughs> I just like, made a bunch of <laughs> I've been playing the exchange market. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it is 10 to a gold. Um, and then the two of you, Zandria and Awen, are you sharing a room? Are you getting two separate rooms? I, I feel like we would have just been sharing rooms, but like, I don't know, flipping coins for who sleeps on the floor. <laughs> you get the bunk bedroom. <laughs> Is there a slash R flip coin? Just roll a D2. One, two, or roll, two. You could do rollies. Roll a D20. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. That's probably better. <laughs> what am I rolling? D20, right? Roll D20. D20. See who gets better. Or higher. <laughs> Oh. First oh, that you're bad. Oh, no. <laughs> I told you D twenty, not D two. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, you're on the floor. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's my turn to sleep on the floor. <laughs> a deal's uh, a deal, fair and square. <laughs> deal's a deal, fair and square. <laughs> Meanwhile, like guy. looking at the coin, like both sides are heads. <laughs> <laughs> I make my own like, luck. I make, I make my own luck. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. the one thing she says in a deep voice, actually. <laughs> um, but you are able to find some sleep. Is there anything you'd like to do before you go to bed? I'm going to um, say my prayers. Okay. In just like a really, like exactly the same tone that I've been talking this entire time. <laughs> just like, Hey there, Corelli Corellian, I think his name is. Cor Cor Coraline. Yeah. Coraline. You know. Hey, Coraline. <laughs> Let me sing a song about Coraline. Yeah, let's do that. And, um, you yeah, know, please bless everybody, because everybody is pretty cool. And, like, you know what? We're going to go fight some monsters. Try to keep us safe, please. I don't like you know, having to pick out charred flesh, that's not so fun. And then we can't help people if we're dead. So please keep us alive so we can help more people. Amen. And then he just <laughs> takes his helmet and, like, uses it as, like, a little pillow and just nods out completely. <laughs> okay. Sandria or Zephyr, anything you're doing before bed? Um, just some quick journaling. I... Uh, I pack away the, perf well, yeah, I pack away my performer clothes, and uh, and sort of air out my traveling clothes so that they are ready for the morning, and uh, go to bed. Okay, question for you: Are you looking mm -hmm. through your book before you go to bed? Um, yes, because this conversation would have reminded me about my family. Okay, so I would. Make an investigation check. Okay. I'm bad at these. Oh. Okay. Um, you start to turn through the pages and it makes you sad. And so you end up closing up the book and deciding to go to bed. Yeah. Uh, hopefully I will come back soon. Okay. Um, and then hit the hay. Xandria. Anything for you before bed? Oh, yeah. Um, so his prayers are really soothing. Um, so while he's praying, I just sit there and I like kind of with my bow, it's kind of like using it like a stuffy almost. And I like just rub my pendant, the, well, my nested um, uh, amethyst. And okay. just think of think of the my days growing up at... Um, a, a, a myth drainer, myth 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 drainer, myth drainer, okay. <laughs> myth drainer. Um, and oh yeah, music stopped for me too. Hmm. Um, okay. And what else? Uh, 
that's it. Pretty much do that, and like I probably fall asleep before he's even done praying because it, <laughs> it is soothing. It's so soothing. Okay. Um. So sleep eventually comes to all of you, and um, before you know it, there is just the the early light starting to poke through your windows. Um, you'll hear some people starting to walk out on the streets of the town. Um, in the distance, you'll hear roosters crowing, and the, the city slowly but surely begins to come to life again. And I'm awake as soon as, like, the first ray of sunshine, like, kind of starts coming through the window. I'm just... The sun's like, awake, so I'm awake. Yep. And then, uh, like, he doesn't even put on his armor yet. He just starts doing some stretching, doing a little bit of yoga, but, like, quietly to, like, make sure that... Uh, it, it really confuses me, because it says Karma Kiro at the bottom, and I'm really bad with names. Xandria. Xandria. So Xandria... Um, like, I want to make sure that she gets all the sleep she she needs. Okay. So I'm just stretching real quiet. Okay. You can quietly stretch. Maybe when do the day. two of you wake up? Maybe about, like, an hour after sunrise. I'm just like, ah, oh, good morning, world. And just start going <laughs> I like how the night before, so we leave at sunrise, and then when do you wake up? Uh, you know, an hour after sunrise. Uh, <laughs> just, just, I'm not used to it. Like she's been keeping her own schedule. Yeah, she's like, oh, I'm late. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, oh, oops. Okay, but good thing that I held out my clothes, and then she, so then just puts on the clothes and. Okay. <laughs> All right, Zandria, when do you wake up? So I slowly start waking up during the stretching and then and then I, I just kind of just lay there and slowly just think about the idea of waking up, you know, probably not in and out a couple times during. And then usually as as per usual, once he's getting done about stretching, then I I like get up. I'm like, oh, have you been having a good morning? Oh, every morning's a good morning when you're awake. Good for you waking up. All right, now it's time to go. And yeah. uh, I've, I've done with my stretching, so I start putting on my, my armor. It's a little bit of a process, so I'll start doing that. Okay. I'll say oh, it's you, a... you mind giving me a hand with the back of it? Those oh, shoulders are kind of annoying to tie yourself. Oh, of course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tie By the no time problem. you guys get his armor on, I'll say it's about half an hour after sunrise. Um, and are you stopping for breakfast first, or what are you? Are you just still half an hour before sunrise? No, uh, after, after sunrise. After sunrise. Oh yeah, half an hour after sunrise, and um, we, there's still no sign of um, Ashley's character. Yeah, Zephyr. 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 Um. um I would go down and see if they have any like oatmeal or grits or some kind of hearty carbohydrate based breakfast. That's basically all we got around here. Oh, and he'll just a... take out a big ladle and just plop it into a bowl. Uh, do you want some berries with it? Oh, is that an option? Yeah. Perfect. Then yes, I would love that. He'll take some berries, um, kind of throw them, uh, sprinkle them across the top so that they, like, are kind of aesthetically pleasing. Um, and then that'll be two silver, please. Two silver. All righty. Thank you. So just as a, I mean, I'm not going to go back on it now, but how much would it have been without the berries? Uh, silver, five copper. Perfect. Then I would definitely upgrade to have the berries because it's definitely worth five copper to me for a little bit more balance in my nutrition. <laughs> you want any <laughs> eggs or bacon? We well, I butchered a pig not too long ago, so. Oh, you know, I think I will probably have a little bit of that, but uh, not too much. I gotta watch my figure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I kind of give him a little like. 
catch your six pack. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, basically, how much are you hoping to spend? And he will give you an appropriate amount of meat. I'll probably spend another two silver on meat. Okay, so that won't get you too much, but it'll get you like you know a fair side serving. Exactly. That's perfect. Oh, thank you so much. Have a great day. Can oh, you... checks the coin on his teeth. You as well. You'll have yourself a fantastic one. And remember, always be doing good for people now, okay? Yeah, I try. Kind of oh, yeah. that his cup. <laughs> yeah, you give people berries. <laughs> berries. People in a lot of towns don't even get those, you know? That's true. This is a fine establishment, so come back anytime. We uh, generally have berries, you know, when they're in season. I picked the right time to come here, didn't I? Oi, hey there. Why don't you come down and get some good breakfast too, eh? That, that was to uh, Andrea. Andrea. So you walk up, he'll be like, whoa. <laughs> like... <laughs> well, of course, yeah. Um, I'll take what he's having. Uh, with the, the side of bacon? Oh, no, I'm good on the bacon. I just want that bowl with the berries on it. All right, that'll be two silver. And, like, kind of drops the berries, but doesn't make him look aesthetically pleasing because he's, like, still staring at you. Like, just kind of, like, one falls out, and he's like, oh, sorry, my bad here. Oh, you're, you're fine, you're fine. Thank you so much. Yeah, two, two silver, please. I'm already handing it over. Okay. Sweet. Enjoy your breakfast. Oh, of course. Thank you. You guys can kind of take your time eating. Um, about the time that you're, like, finishing up and uh, and kind of stacking your bowls because you're courteous <laughs> guests. Um, there's still no no Zephyr. By the time we're done eating? Yeah, because it's not going to take you half an hour to eat a bowl of oatmeal. Well, what if I savor every berry? Okay, if you savor every bite, no, I... she's getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say we go check on our new friend from last night? Because I don't know what's going on with her. She said we were going to be leaving right early in the morning, but we've had time to do some stretching, put my armor on, and then even eat a nice, delicious bowl of oats with berries and a side of bacon? Man, something's going on with her. We gotta make sure she's okay. Alright, yeah, let's check. So we're gonna go, and I'm just gonna start knocking on every door, <laughs> because I, I didn't I didn't find out what, what room she was sleeping in, so I'm just gonna start knocking on every door. So you knock on the first door? First door. Yes! Oh, hey there, ma'am. You don't happen to have a young lady who plays kind of a really in nice instrument called a viol. Um, she might be staying with you, or is is this not her room? What? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and assume <laughs> that it's probably not this one. Thank you so much, and you have yourself a wonderful day now. Oh, you too. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Oh, uh... <laughs> no, I'll go to the next door. <laughs> knock, 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 knock. Someone opens up. It's like this uh, bugbear, and he's just got, like, no shirt, just big hanging belly and just, like, some food on his chest there. Yes. Oh, good morning. You wouldn't happen to be um, having a... A nice young elf woman who uh, has a instrument called a viol. She was playing sea shanties down there last night. Uh, she doesn't happen to be staying in this room, does she? No, but you could send her my way. Oh, okay. Well, um, we actually have a prior engagement that's going to be taking us out of town, so I'm not going to do that. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I hope you have yourself a wonderful day now. There's some really great oatmeal with some berries down there. And... She just kind of shuts the door on you. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, sir. <laughs> and then I'll go to the next door. 
Uh, as you're sleeping, and then all of a sudden you hear, knock, 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 knock. Oh, I think it's morning, Will. Okay. Uh, it's just sort of stumble over to the door and just sort of open it far enough to poke my head out. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, oh. Aelin. Yes. Good morning. It's me. Yeah, it's me, Awen. Good morning. Um, well, you know, we said that we were going to be leaving at about dawn. And um, it's now about an hour after that. We were just checking on <laughs> you to make sure. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know if you it. noticed, but you're freaking late. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. And then she just slams the door in your face and is like, I'll be ready in a minute. And she quickly just says, Where's my car? Where's my car? I need to put my clothes on. Where's my hat, bed? Where's my hat? From the other side of the door, you just hear. <laughs> 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 Just random shenanigans on the other side. It takes maybe about like eight minutes. And then she just like opens the door and it's just and like her hair is not even combed yet, but she's got her, her little coral comb just sort of in her hand and like I'm ready. She's still like stepping into a boot, <laughs> like hopping out the door. Oh, I'm ready, I'm so sorry. Oh There's no the... worries. You, you say it's no worries, but it feels like a lot of worries. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Let's okay. go. It's just, you were like, just checking to make sure you were all right. Don't I'm you worry. Okay. I'm okay. I'm just very embarrassed because I did not wake up with the, the sun. And it's okay. Let's go. I'm all ready right. for an adventure. The Zephyr shall. Uh, oh, I'm so tired. All right, well, I need to uh, get some food. So give me a second, please. I am so sorry. I, I will be ready in just a second. She just runs over to just get a get a thing of berries, just something that she can carry on okay. with her. It'll be like a silver, uh, no, because he's gonna give you like a, a good, good, like bag full of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he'll give you a discount, give you two silver for, for like a baggie of them. Okay. Sandwich size baggie. Thank you so much. Oh, this is so unprofessional. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, don't mind me as I'm combing my hair. I am ready to go. I can walk and comb my hair at the same time. Like many people can. I don't know why I said that. I'm very sorry. Huh. All right. Let's get it going then. As we kind of start walking and like, well, she's walking and eating and brushing her hair. Are, and uh, she's a little odd, huh? What? No, you don't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> to your face, she's a little odd, huh? <laughs> she's and it's like a concerned look. I'm I'm concerned for her. Well, you know, aren't we all a little bit odd in our own ways? Eh, fair enough. Okay. You know, I'm sure that some people probably find me a little bit odd. <laughs> I don't know who, but somebody has to. I think you're a wonderful acquired taste. You know, that's a great way to put it. Look at you with that positive outlook. We just <laughs> haven't acquired her taste yet. There are no Give mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Well, eventually, like, as we keep walking, and as she has food and puts food in her and, like, finally puts her hair into, like, a little bun, she's like, she starts calming down is, and looks more put together. And, yeah. Um, so the best path through the, or out of the city would be to go out actually out the western gate, and then um, there's a trail that leads south from the western gate. Um, kind of follows along the, the river that I don't know the name of. Um, you can take that path, or you can head just straight south and kind of trudge through the forest. Like bushwhacking it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you think? You think we should take the established trail and follow where many other feet have trod? 
Or do you think uh, we should blaze our own trail, which contravenes pretty much all the ethics of leave no trace, and, uh, you know, just kind of figure it out as we go? Up to you guys. Doesn't matter to me either way. I mean, I don't, I don't know very much about this news, Jai, but do you think it would be wiser to go the the, the beaten path or make our own path? Well, I'm pretty sure that we've got to be going pretty far south from where we're at. I don't think it's just a oh. hop, skip, and a jump away. We're okay. going to be doing some walking. Then probably the path, uh, if you th- if unless Azandria, you think that making your own path is wiser? I don't know. I don't do this a lot. I, I'm very excited, actually. I'm I'm I think we should stick to the to the trail at the moment. Yeah. Um, I these are, I mean, they're a little far from my old stomping grounds, but man, I just feel so close to home. Um. Let's take the trail. Now, Meredith, uh, we don't really have anything to go off of except for just head south, right? You said it- nobody had asked more than that. Um, well, because all that stuff happened when we were on the yeah, boat. Yeah, but yeah, no, no one has asked since you've been in the town. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's what you have to go off of. Well. You guys ready to start walking? So let us go. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and someone roll me a D100. Got it. <laughs> Cannon, you should know something about this. Uh, whenever we say somebody roll, uh, the first time is always not Brand. actually somebody. It's always Brando. So <laughs> <laughs> if it's someone random, it's actually me first. <laughs> If okay. Would you say that's a that's a bad roll. Oh boy, we're in 70. trouble. Okay, so um, <laughs> you guys are walking down the path heading south, um, and kind of following along the river. When ahead of you, you see that same um, kind of flashy dressed mer- er, man, um, and you. Okay, and uh, you see him speaking to a man with a cart. Hey, isn't that that same flashy, uh, flashy ringed man who had lots of rings on his hands? Oh, no, son. That... I think that's that same guy. No, son, the great. Good morning, no, son, the great. Is it morning? Hey, it after... it's okay. morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, great to see you again, uh, Arwen. Uh, don't, don't tell me. Zippy and Zandy. I'll Zippy. take Zandy. I like Zandy. <laughs> <laughs> Zippy's very funny. I think I'll take. Z- I think I'll take Zippy too. That is very amusing. <laughs> I'm sorry if I didn't get him right, but <laughs> that's I made a lot all right. Of- Nobody does. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> yeah, try being named Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cameron. <laughs> I, I tell people Cannon, like on a pirate ship, and they're like, Cameron? And I'm like, what does that have to do with a pirate ship, bro? You know, Cameron balls. Cameron balls, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James oh. Cameron at some point made a pirate movie, I'm sure. Yeah, it's Titanic. Called Titanic. Oh. <laughs> Pirate ship. Anyway, <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah. Sorry, um, you guys heading out of town so soon. Oh, you know, we're on a mission from God. Oh, oh. I, did, <laughs> I did not realize that was what was going on. Okay. Well, oh, I mean, but... his his God is really all about this. Oh, okay. I forget. Actually, I'm trying. Hold slightly, please. Okay. I remember my motivation. What's my motivation? What's my motivation? 
It's like I know I knew about what this. What is my like, desire to, to keep remember, going on? I'm trying to remember why I joined in this. Without that motivation, I just wanted all to end. <laughs> I think you were just friends with Awen. Yeah, right. And then and I you just, just learned were about learning it. And I was new like, things. Yeah, let's kill evil things, right? <laughs> I think. Yeah, basically, you're like, yeah, sure, I'm all for it. They're bad. Sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. If it's evil, I mean, let's get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm good. That's where I'm at. So, mission from God, that's a big task you got ahead of you. Story between good and evil. This is very interesting. She pulls out her notebook and just starts scribbling it. Oh, yeah. oh, cool. We got a writer here. She's going to write a story. No, Maybe I'm going to write a song. A song. A song. Oh, even yes. better. People remember songs, they forget <laughs> stories. Well, and... yeah, we're, we're on that mission from God, like I was saying. You haven't happened to heard of any kind of really bad creature that's to the south of here. We've kind of forgot to ask back in town who we are so <laughs> enthused. By the food and you know the accommodations, it was very nice. Um, but uh, yeah, the, we kind of forgot to ask when we were back there. Usually, more in my repertoire, but kind of <laughs> forgot. You know, it's like almost part of my personality. But, uh, I actually, you know, haven't haven't heard of anything. Um, what about you, there, creatures. Mr. Cart Driver? What's your name? Oh, dude. Alexi? Oh, Alexi. Well, uh, you haven't happened to heard of nothing real bad that's, like, causing a bunch of chaos and evil things to happen and occur down in the south, right? Are you talking about Stillwaters? Stillwaters? Well, it sounds like a great place to start. Tell us about these Stillwaters, wait, if you don't mind. Wait, whoa, hold up. Oh no, that was Star Mantle. My bad. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's you know a village about four days south of here, and uh, people say that some evil creature, some kind of beast, is has kind of taken over and killed a lot of people. And there well, are a lot of refugees right. getting away. Yep. That that sounds about it. Yeah. All right, still waters it is. Our friend here, um, this lovely lady who likes to sing oh. and write, apparently, really awesome, fantastic songs. Um, she would uh, like to know she's looking for a man. I forgot his oh. name. It, it, have you heard of uh, Lamar Baudelaire? That's Lamar, Lamar Baudelaire, in case you can't. Yeah, she's got a little bit of an accent. It's kind of hard to understand her sometimes. <laughs> but we uh, still love her. How rude. <laughs> Our turn? Well, I, I said we still love her, so it's all good. <laughs> Makes it okay. <laughs> Just make fun of her. Um, I don't well, think I've heard of anyone. He's I'll... about to, He's about to this tall. <laughs> his hair is like a he's he's blonde but uh but it is starting to gray uh so he has blue. like salt and pepper or salt and you know lemony hair be pepper and lemon. <laughs> wait no wait, how does that work <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, lemon and salt uh, <laughs> well salted lemon hair a salty uh, lens. I get this. A lemon I get this meringue. meringue. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess so. He he, Is he like have a, a politician? He, no, he he he's like a sailor, and uh, he would probably have an accent like mine. Oh, that could turn a little Italian there at the end. I can't say I've seen someone like that, but I'll keep an eye out. So, uh, should we be following one of the rivers south, or we're trying to stay between the rivers? Uh, the the path will kind of go along the river. Yeah. Which one? The not the one that goes down to the sea. The more western one. The okay. river Duam. Duwath. Duwathamper. Yes. Duwathamper. 
The Dwathampur River. I'm sure we're saying that wrong. Dwathampur. But, you know, that's how we're going to say it now. Dwathampur. <laughs> Dwathampur River. Um, there's a kind of a path that, so you. that's why you went out west, and then you're following along that way. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Is there anything we could help you guys with? I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation there. Oh, I'm just trying to get um, some supplies back up from Stillwater. Um, people are paying to, you know, get their stuff out. Oh, okay. Well, if there's any way that we could assist, you know, just let us know. Well, I'm I'm heading north. You guys are heading south, it looks like. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I guess good. then... Uh... Perhaps we can Ouch. be helpful by... Taking care of this horrid monster. Yes, that would be a help to a lot of people. Well, that that was kind of my plan. I was hoping we could kind of murder him. <laughs> I'm not really uh, too keen on the Nilshai. Everyone else is pretty cool, but uh, those Nilshai, they're just a bunch of ne'er-do-wells, you know? Yeah, well, you know, make the world a safer place, I guess. And a little bit more chipper one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He kind of gives them I like meant a you're like smiling. <laughs> gives them kind of like a little shoulder, uh, you know, like the light shoulder punch, but his light shoulder punch is like a little bit harder than, yeah. you know, like a normal like thing. So it kind of gives them not like, ah, yeah, yeah kind of like bonk, his little glove, his gauntlet kind of jingle jangles. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Have a nice day. And he'll yeah. kind of, like, lift the cart and slowly start pulling it north again. Well, I guess he sent us in the right direction. Let's go. Hey, mind if I travel along with you for a little bit? I'm heading south myself. Oh, the more the merrier. Let's do this. This is perfect. Yeah, why not? Great, thanks. And he'll kind of pull out uh, oh, a loot and kind of strum behind you guys. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Are we just becoming a traveling band of musicians here? I don't have. I mean, I have does, the, does he? I've got he... my harp of one string, I guess. And I just... yeah, no. <laughs> Why don't you yeah. give us a little bit of that string music? Now, come on, walk of the dog, walk it on out there. <laughs> Yeah. Dig it, man. As soon as he pulls out the, as soon as he pulls out the loot, this just is something about his demeanor familiar to me. Uh, I mean, yes, in the sense that you've seen a lot of kind of showy musicians, but you've never seen anyone that looks like him. Like you don't recognize him. Okay. He is an elf with angel wings. Oh yes. Oh, it was Angel Wings. That's yes. right. I was going to ask him where he got his cape that was covered in wings, but that. <laughs> no, they're. As you get closer to him, like, they are <laughs> wings coming out of his back. Oh, uh, okay. I get it. Where are you guys all seeing these pictures? What do you mean? What pictures? Oh, I didn't drop you on the thing. <laughs> Sorry, Cannon. What pictures? You've just been staring at a black screen this whole time. Yeah. I mean, they're they're not much better. They're just staring at this, but... Yeah, I'm just staring at the, the cover photo, basically. Yeah, because oh, I haven't dropped okay. you guys on... You haven't had any sort of need for an actual map yet. Okay. But, yeah. Um, okay, continuing on. Why does... Oh. oh, and music totally stopped. Sorry, guys. It's, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let's well, see. we can fix that right now. <laughs> No problem, eh? I pull out my hand drum. <laughs> just given kind of like a a steady little beat that they can kind of go that the the string musicians, my quartet can kind of play off of. Okay. Oh, it's playing two songs at the same time. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, it's playing all of them at the same time. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's try that again. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> okay, so, um, traveling on. Someone else rolled me a D100. Not me. Me. Not me. Okie dokie. 
guys all type so fast? You can be next, Cannon. We're not the, typing. We're not typing. It over to the side. There's a button. The the one that looks like a D twenty. Oh. And it has all. Oh, of it has it right there. Interesting that it has a fudge roll. I'm gonna roll the fudge roll just to see what happens. I don't understand what fudge is. <laughs> it's like a kind of like a processed chocolate. <laughs> it's kind of in between like a nougat and a chocolate. Quite delicious. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, thirty-six. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing stuff. Nope, nope, wrong one. Uh, it's just like really random. <laughs> I'm not sure. Why did it not drop you? Okay. Oh, because I'm on the wrong mobby. Learn your layers. Learn your Wait, layers. no, that was a layer. Oh, there we go. Oh no. I'm oh glad no. I don't have to know this stuff. There we go. Okay. We really gotta teach you how to get that bowstring going. You could kind of cut the difference between the percussion of me and the strings and, you know, all of that, the melodies of them. Almost like a bass. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this gets a little boring, I think, but I'll keep trying. <laughs> you don't understand. It is like the bass is the is so vital to the to the musicality of the song. Without the bass, like the the melody can just be very haphazard. You are playing an important role. Whoa, keep you it up, Sansaria. Boom, boom. All right, I'll keep keep, keep going, I guess. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Try to you know give it a little bit of use like your your fingers that you would use to draw the bow and just kind of give it like a little walking motion, like a little. <laughs> See if you can do a little bit of that, you know? Oh, like a heartbeat. Okay. Very yeah. good. It's got a little bit. It's got a, Yeah. Yeah. It feels like. It's, okay. It's, make it's sure a little you guys poppy can see. in that way. Poppy? What does that mean? Poppy. Like it, it pops. It makes you go. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Make sure all y'all have vision. Because these are things I forgot to do I mean, next. I feel like and... they should make this a genre of music or something. <laughs> you know, Sorry. with all those those okay. berries we ate, you know, I think they were blueberries. And then seeing all this grass out in the field, we could just call it bluegrass. <laughs> <Gosh darn> <laughs> Okay, as you guys are having this discussion, um, and you, um, go ahead and someone make me a perception check. Whoever's kind of leading the way. Oh, I'm not leading the way. I think it was me. Or at least that's how I pictured in my head. Okay. It's like I'm in front of everyone. Since it's your initiation. My initiation? Oh, yeah. I get what you're saying. It's like, what does this have to do with initiative? I got it, I got it, I got it. What am I doing again? Make oh, a perception what? check. Perception. perception. It's hard to see. Are we uh, supposed to be seeing something uh, right now? No, not yet. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Perception. Okay. Um, I don't see crap. I'm just focusing guys on like, that string. That's that's fair. Coming along, so um, and then at some point, um, you hear shh, and you see someone hiding in the tree um, with a bow drawn. At us? No. Ahead. You guys should all be able to see now. Yes. What? So I draw my bow out of, because of what? What the heck? 
Oh, that's right, because he needs to see. He shouldn't be here. <laughs> I was going to be Oh, confused. I see. I see. That's why you dropped yourself. I just deleted him. <laughs> so, as soon as I could... I'm as like, as I didn't mean to drop him. him. I was like... Drink everywhere! Oh, my God! Drink's <laughs> <laughs> falling from the sky! There's so many of them. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so they will say, shh. What? Can you stop? I, I pull my bow. Draw it. I'll go over here. Okay. You're hunting. Okay. Okay, why isn't er, why everyone make go ahead and make a stealth check for me? I'm um, just gonna stand right which cause she said shh. I'm aware of how <laughs> loud I am just in general. Oh, he can't he can't see still, he says. Why can't you because I always turn off your vision. That's why you can't see. Boop. Can you see now? Yay! You can see he can't fight. Okay. Uh, so you're aware that you are loud, and so you're just kind of standing there. Yeah, just trying to like stand still. Still. And yeah. So. Um, since I'm not moving, would I still get uh, yeah. disadvantage? No, you get just straight. Okay. There, there's not really a way to like make this screen smaller while so I can see the both of them. Is there? So if you go up to the top cannon, um, where it shows you like your different desktops, um, if one's in full screen, you should be able to slide the other window up into that little like menu, and it'll it's, hold both open at the same time. Like my character sheet thing is like. Stuck. Oh, that's what you mean. You can double uh, click on it. Yeah. And it'll and then open it, a like... new pop-up window. Oh. Uh, what? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> that changes everything. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um... Yeah. It gave me bad. Yeah, it did. <laughs> um, and... Oh, you did already roll yours. Oh. Your son needs to roll... Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, also didn't do super great. Okay, um, so as she has her bow drawn, um, these things are... <laughs> and oh my they start... gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I fixed my mic, guys! <laughs> um, yeah. And they're going to start charging. Wait, I don't see them. Oh, there yeah, they are. Not... Sounded like a pig. Looks like a bull. Oh, I, it well, is. I, I release. I release my drawn arrow. You... <laughs> uh, which one are you shooting at? Because she shot at this one. Oh, we both shot at the same one. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to pull this into a different window. Because my physical dice are packed. Um... So do I get to do longbow? Yes. And then I will have everyone roll initiative. <clears throat> Excuse me. If that didn't hit, then ignore the fact that I rolled damage, but I just decided to roll damage. Yeah. Oh, I gotta click on myself. Okay. Oh, I forgot to click on myself. Oh, I forgot. No, I forgot to set up the thing. Oh, well, now you get to just put us all in there. Man, I'm rolling initiative. Come on. <laughs> there we go. And then change that to a 12. What? What? Change it to a 12, I said. There we go. 12 into a change? 12 into a change. I guess I wouldn't have had time. Well, yeah, I would have moved over there. Man, I get like a double strike. It's because you've been practicing yeah. that, that base movement. So proud of you. Yeah, right. Doom, doom, yeah. Doom, doom. yeah. <laughs> Cannon, did you? Oh, you did right there. I see. Can you see clearly now? The everyone. Rain is gone. Do, do, do. Boop. 
Okay. All the warthogs in my way. <laughs> okay. Um. Start it off. <laughs> All right. So Zandria, you fired one shot. And then I quickly pull and fire another. If these, if it didn't look like our two hits didn't kill him, it is know. hurt. Yeah, then I, I instantly would have just drawn and shot at the same one again. Okay. Uh, that would miss. And I whiffed it. Oh, wait. Do you do things to us because of this? Yes. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, wow. Yes. Th roll a d10. Yeah, well, the d20 is supposed to do cool things. Yeah, so no, it does do gonna... awesome things. Okay, what did you say? Roll a d10. d10. Okay. Um, so the shot goes wide. Um, and you kind of get distracted as it like fires into the arrow and you're like, huh, I wonder if I can go get that later. Um, and you have lost your bonus action or reaction this turn. Ah! Oof. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can go get that that's, later. That's rough, that's rough, buddy. Rough. That's so rough. These, are, these, these <laughs> just look like normal, like, boar. They are big. They're, yeah, like, they're, they're like big boar, but they don't look like sentient. Like they don't look like... human. Like they're not were boar or anything. Okay. So I'm gonna um, kind of take my helmet and just kind of make sure it's like kind of shuffled on and then buckle the chin strap, and then just kind of ready my shield and like the flail that's been kind of looped up around my belt. I'm gonna just kind of pull it out and just let the head just fall and I'm gonna be like all right guys guess we gotta go in there and I'm just gonna dash okay there perfect okay um that will be your mo your action. You have a bonus action. Um, let's see. I don't think I have very many bonus action things. I don't think you do either, but you know. Um. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna not do anything different than that okay okay um then they are gonna go um this one didn't like being shot and didn't know which one hurt it so it's gonna charge at her and uh do 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 and attack oh. okay nat 20 that'll hit <laughs> Hunter's gonna get. Okay. Um, yeah, so th this boar um, just straight up charges and like impales her leg with a tusk. Um, and she like screams out and then like falls down um, and is like trying to back away from it. Um, and that boar is just like. Yust. Um, this one's gonna try to do the same thing to you. Okay, uh, does a... Oh, no, an 18 does not hit ya. Um, so it's gonna, it's gonna run up and, like, hit you with its tusk, but it's gonna, like, impact with your plate, um, and not be able to do any damage there. Um, and this one's gonna, these two are just gonna charge. Let's see, what is their speed? They fast. They fast as football, boy. <laughs> no, we'll go there. We'll go there. Um, and this one's also going to try to get you, but it's also going to miss. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is their turn. Wait, no, this one would charge at you. Okay. Oh, 
have so much to do. Um. Okay. I. I pluck out a song that's that sounds oddly like illegally distinct. Can't touch this. And uh, nice. <laughs> I'm catching. I'm casting. Can't this. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't, wouldn't that be more for um, Zaria? Zandria? Zandria? Just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. That kind of, but like, you know, it's, it's illegally distinct, can't touch this, and I'm casting subliminal aversion on, uh, on Awen. So, if if you get hit with a melee attack, uh, the the attacker will take one d four psychic damage. And then, after that, I uh, I say to I say to Zandria, it is okay if you missed the one time. Just keep going, and I give you inspiration. Just keep swimming, just keep just, swimming. Just keep shooting, shooting, shooting. What do we do? We shoot also. Okay, perfect. Anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. Okay. Um, then Norsan will go, Yeah, you guys are, you know, doing the thing. Let's put meat back on the menu. And he will inspire Awen. Um, and then... Put meat back on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he will... Wills himself never to say that again. <laughs> oh, wait, what? He's gonna, um... Come over... Come over here to her. Okay, that's his turn. And his hands start to glow. It's Andrea. Me again? Yep. Oh, does the hunter not get a turn? Uh, no, I just forgot to put her in. Um, she is pulling away and like actively bleeding from her leg and starting to lose consciousness. Oh, tight. She oh, totally no. would have been unconscious last round, but <laughs> give her one more round. <laughs> okay, so I've got one on me. That sucks. Uh... You, yeah, you're all distracted, and then you're like, ah! <laughs> Can't I? Let's see. Is this considered ranged? It's an area, right? Let's see. I think because you have someone within five feet of you, I can. I just had disadvantage. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's a disadvantage. But I, what I do is at first like gets in my face, and so I, in my fear, exhale. <gasps> okay. Nice. Uh, Full blast of energy, right? It's a 15 foot cone, so I don't think I'll. Hit yeah, you won't get any on but the four. And, uh, okay, it's a con save or dex save? What is it? Dexter make a, a dexterity saving throw. Um, eight plus constitution plus proficiency. So eight. Rolled a 17. Eight plus. Oh, 17? Yes. I'm like, that's probably going to save it. Level 2. At least half damage, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So on a failed save, the creature takes 1d10. Uh, successful, it takes half. So I still roll a d10 and it takes half, right? Yes. yes. I'm very quiet. Oh, hey, am I better now? <laughs> there, you're way better now. <laughs> 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 All right, cool. Are you like moving away from your mic? 
No, I had it like turned up. Oh, okay. Pointed at my head. Um, yeah. Okay, that's so the, I that's the breathed, Okay. I breathed force damage into his face. Okay. What does it look like? Like, is it colorful? What does it look like? It's actually invisible. Oh. Yeah. I pictured not... it as in. It's just like a. Who's Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Sound wave. Okay. Anything else? Uh. I bonus action, action disengage. Nope. Okay. Then no. I got nothing. You are not a, a rogue. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can just disengage, or you can, like, you can just walk away. I, I could try that, for sure. <laughs> um, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. She's gonna do it. Okay. All right, it's so... It's gonna try to hit you with the... What's my eight. movement? My movement? 30. 30? Yeah. 10... 15, 20, 25, 30. It tries to bite at you, but it, you kind of, like, smack it away. <laughs> smack it in the jowls with, a, with my bow. <laughs> As it kind of, like, turns and looks at you. As you walk yeah. away. Okay, you've got your bonus action still. I, 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 except that I don't really have a Okay, that's totally fine. All right, Awen. I'm going to bonus action disengage. Uh, I don't think you can either. Or is that <laughs> one of your things? <laughs> you just think going to try? <laughs> <laughs> we are testing your DM skills right off the bat. Uh, I'm... I look back at the unnamed hunter that we didn't really get to talk to. Um, and I see that she's losing consciousness um, from this massive bleeding wound in her thigh. Um, and I yell out, Hey, does uh, anybody got this? Uh, I you got know. it. Don't worry. Yeah. Norson the Great has his hands glowing. Oh, he has his hands glowing. All right, perfect. Sweet. That's an indicator to me that I can do what I do best. <laughs> and uh, the... Uh, make people regret their decision. <laughs> you know, you're going to learn a lesson about manners right now, you bore. And... Um, <laughs> I Watch the language. You filthy Jeez. bore. <laughs> 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 and uh, I let the... Um, the, like head of the flail fall and I just spin it twice and I smash it into the floor. Okay. Uh, this one. Right in front of you? I, yeah. Click and one. hold. Oh, click and hold. Click, click and hold. hold. There we go. Okay. Go for it. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Uh, you go to, to swing Oops. at it. Um, and it catches it in its tusk um, and kind of blocks it a little bit. Okay, and then I do believe that I actually, if I... You have two use, Yeah, if I... I just, I'm making sure I didn't have to hit with the first one. No. Uh, so I will... Like, he'll kind of catch it with the tusks, but I'll pull the the handle of it through and make a like bigger, like wider overhand strike back down on top of his head. Go for it. That will and, hit. And, Oh, yeah, just barely, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> it was not ready for the overhead strike. Second one does the damage. <laughs> and can I pump a, a smite? A thundering, thunderous smite. That just does thunder damage to it? Um, To the Thunderdome! Wait, what? So my, my weapon rings oh, with You have to thunder. do that before you attack, apparently. Oh, I have to do it before. Yeah, I thought it was after too, but Oh no, Thunderous Smite. The first time you hit with a melee weapon attack during Oh, during the spell's duration. Never mind. Okay. So you can cast it, but you yeah. But it has it's the next hit. Okay. Um well I'll 
it's a bonus action, so I'll still cast that so that it hits. Yeah, I'll say that you cast it before. Okay. Um, so it's 2d10, or no, 2d6 plus my flail damage. So flail damage, 7 bludgeoning, plus 2d6. I don't know where the 4 okay. came from. Um, and then he has to make a... Strength saving throw. Strength saving 15. throw. Okay, well, that's a nat 20. Um, so he... oh, they're rolling really well on their saves. Yeah. Um, so he's not, what, knocked back? Uh, pushed 10 feet yeah. away from me and knocked from. Oof. Yeah, he's not looking like he had a good time. He has, like, a bleeding gash in the top of his head. Um, and But he's still sort of wobbling but standing there. Okay, and that's your turn, correct? That is my no movement. Turn. Okay. Uh, he's going to try one last attack at you. Stubborn boar. That's not Oh, gonna wait, hit. I had inspiration. You did have inspiration. Totally oh, forgot about that. Oh, it inspired. I Andrea, forgot about that too, but oh well. Andrea yeah, you guys both have one. I get on wait, the next one. When did, oh, did, did Norson give yes. him? Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, that one will hit. That's a 21 to hit. Um, so the one that you didn't you attack. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. He is gonna poke you with his tusks there and gonna do a whop in four points of piercing damage because it finds a little chink in your armor there. Then because of the the subliminal aversion he will get four points of psychic damage. Nice. Okay. Don't you see what happens when you hurt a man of God? <laughs> 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 okay <laughs> um and this one's gonna run for you zephyr uh, and okay. try and attack Hello? Oh. Not one. <sighs> so oh, never mind because <laughs> that would have really hurt you Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay, and it is your turn. Oh wait, sorry, the sun can still attack. It's gonna run past and try and get Norse on. That will hit. Hmm. Okay. Ow! Yeah, that really hurt. I mean, sorry. Okay. <laughs> that was max damage. <laughs> Oh, no. Wait, did I just get hit? No, no. Norson did. Norson. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, Zandria, your or not Zandria, Zephyr, your turn. Okay. Zippy. Zippy. Um. <laughs> so scared. Um, <laughs> but, uh, this was not what I was prepared for. Um, I'm going to kind of just. Take a breath and go, okay, I can do this. Give myself inspiration. And then over to Norsan. Well, uh, I don't think you can give yourself inspiration until later, right? Yeah. Wait, oh, not yet? You have to be a much higher level. Dang. Yeah. Okay. Um. You have to no, learn to only help others I didn't know there was only Larbards. Okay. Oh, that's lame. Because I just remember Seth being like, Sweet, I inspire myself now. <laughs> okay. Well, then... I inspire myself all the time. <laughs> I mean, you so... can certainly inspire yourself, but it's just not going to do anything mechanically. Yeah. <laughs> You're just really impressed with yourself. <laughs> Whoa, it's so nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, okay, so... So then, uh... I'll look over to... Um... I'll look over to Norson and be like, "Yeah, I know that's painful, but you can, you can do it. 
I, I've been helping you out! And I give him inspiration, and then... Like, I could do inspiration and, and then, like, a, a bonus action spell, right? Like, it just would take up an action. So it's your bonus action to inspire, isn't it? Yeah, it's bonus action to inspire and bonus action for some, for some spells. Yeah, like, so no, you'll remember, need an action thing. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and so then, after I do that, after I give him an inspiration, uh, which will be a sort of magical inspiration once he gets a chance to heal her, um, he can roll to give her extra health. Um, and then after, so after I give him that inspiration, I'm then going to uh, sting him better. I'm gonna do a healing word, um, and uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do a healing word. Uh, just at level one, because that's the only thing I can do. To okay. him or to her? To Norsan. Okay. Because, yeah. I don't know, he he had glowy hands. That made it look like he could heal her a lot better than I could. So. Yeah, but he also can't, well, I mean, he can't get to her, but not before that spell fizzles. So before, right as you heal him, uh, he'll also, like, touch his chest, or his, yeah, his chest where he was kind of hit. Yeah, he'll just start touching himself. Um, <laughs> and you'll see that where he, his glowing hands hit, um... Like, the, the skin turns pink for a moment, and then, uh, like, stays pink and then subsides to just regular skin color. Um, but he will... Oh, that was the end of your turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, he will fly straight up. Let's see if this guy can get an opportunity attack. Not with that, sucker! Um, fly up, over, land, and cast Cure Wounds on her. Okay. Yay! Everyone is still alive! But that might not be in a second. Uh, <laughs> okay! Okay! It's right uh, here! Oh. So, so whatever um, whatever healing he does to her, he does an additional Oh, that's my part of inspiration die. I mean, he got her to full. Oh, She's... Okay. Yeah. Well, then he can keep that if he wants to try yeah. to kill someone else in the future. He will. Um, what was I doing here? I was adding turn. That's what I was doing. Come on. Um, she will pull out her knife and try and stab it since it's right on top of her. That certainly hits. Okay, um, and as this thing goes to, like, gore her again, um, she will stab her dagger into, like, its mouth, um, and what it will just bits? kind of fall on her. Boop. Okay. I'm just gonna remember that she goes after Norsan. Okay, Xandria. Hi. Oh, wait, I don't get to say that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going to do at the beginning of your turn. Now. <laughs> and pluck. Oh, yeah, there we go. And so now you that... can look at your critical hits um, and oh, pick okay. one. I'm assuming you're going for this one right in front of Zephyr. Yes, correct. Okay. It's, uh, we're going to have to deal with color in a little bit, but we'll, uh, I'll look at this. Um,. Is this critical hit? Okay, and then what do I do? I roll. So no, you can one. you can roll if you want, but you get to pick on your. Oh jeez. Um, so like you can automatically damage. pick. Oh, uh, precision, damage. precision strike. Precision. Okay. Okay, so you're just taking the which the is double. The pretty standard. Right? Yeah, that's the standard. Just roll double damage. Yeah, I'll just do that right now because I was not prepared. Okay. Um. Wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Okay. Just deal good damage. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Nearly maximum damage. <laughs> you just shoot it right in the eye. And it, like, goes through its head. 
And I bonus action, keep humming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Awen. Thank you, I thought I was dead. Oh, you're not dead yet. But I think this boar might be. And I... Might kind of, be. <laughs> and, I, and I... Instead of going overhead, I kind of like... Swing it over my head and then do like a cool little baton twirler, twirler thing. Okay. Where, um, like a nunchuck looking yeah. guy, you know? And instead of, it's kind of like a fainting amount with the overhead, but then I spin around and smash him in the side of the head where he caught it <laughs> okay. on the tusk. Oh, okay. The, or you gotta hold it. That one. Yeah, I assume the one that's on its last leg. Ah, I also. <laughs> I'm not used You're to using it. <laughs> Run away! Run away! Nope, I did not mean quarterstaff. Well, that certainly hits. That one's dead. It's just like the, uh, the mountain and the viper. His head. <laughs> yeah, basically. You just smashed his skull in. And then I used the that? momentum do a, like another <laughs> sideways spin like I spin all the way around on my foot and just continue that momentum into the one that's yeah. directly below Everyone me. It's just one swing and one it, attack and you just knock one into the other one almost <laughs> like yeah that hits. Nice. Okay that one also dies. Just <laughs> Whew. So you guys uh, kind of catch your breath after these things kind of scared you. Didn't actually hurt you guys very much. Or at all, I don't think. Um, and the hunter will kind of get help to her feet by Norsan. Um, and thank, thank you for helping. Um, would have been a goner. Is, well, is like, everyone it's... okay? Oh, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say it's a good thing that the meat on these things is from the neck back, because you can still eat <laughs> these two. Yeah, that's, I mean, what I'm out here for, so. You're doing all right there, bud? Yeah, I feel a lot better now. Thanks. Sir. Anybody else hurting? Anyone else got any, uh, any hidden wounds? You don't have to be a hero now. You can <laughs> let me know. Uh, no, I'm quite okay. But, like, she's, like, looking kind of queasy in the face. Sort of. Eh. Eh. I'm totally fine. <laughs> oh. What a win! Yes? Uh. Yes. Well, that was not pleasant. Well, it's just a good thing that everyone is okay. Well, yeah, so it was so pleasant, and oh, I, mean, that was oh, I thought idea. you said unpleasant. So oh, that was pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if, if it's a pleasant, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, and then she just goes weird. <laughs> <laughs> Very pleasant. <laughs> it's like, I mean, like. I, Part of me imagines that, like, when the arrow went into the boar's eye, like, some of the blood, like, some blood sort of, like, splashed a bit on yeah, her. like, one drop splattered on, like, your knee, and you were like... <laughs> just, just seeing it go into its eye, yeah, she's like, excuse me one more. You were the squelch. <laughs> Oh, the 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 bellies! Oh goodness! I'm just imagining <laughs> this fight from from Zephyr's perspective. Like everyone else is like, "Oh man, these boars!" Bonk, 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 bonk. And then from Zephyr's perspective, it's like horror music playing and blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they were ten feet tall, and they had teeth as long as as short swords. <laughs> Yeah, well, also just adrenaline. Like, I think also <laughs> adrenaline makes her a little nauseous. <laughs> and then I wish she's like, it's like, it comes back. Okay, so everyone is okay. That is good. Um, 
yeah, I'm great. And I kind of just like skip over, pick up my uh, arrow. <laughs> From the boar? Yeah. Pull it out of its eye. It's still got a little bit of like organic matter on it. And I go and find the one that I was like, wait, because this is the fight, right? Yeah, I go find the one that I was like, an investigation like, check. Get that one later, I guess. <laughs> da, da, da. Does anyone. Oh, we'll we need it? to drink some water. It's yeah, really I need important. To, I, need to, I need to. So she pulls out her water skin and, like, the, like, she takes a gulp, or not, she takes a mouthful, swishes it around, and then spits it out, and then, and then starts taking some sips. She's like, oh. Yeah, it's good to get that kind of gross taste out of your mouth oh, before yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> we were all first timers once. You hang around with us and. Don't worry, you'll be a pro by no time. I don't know if I want to be a pro. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I think I'll leave the pro stuff to you guys. <laughs> oh. Well, it's probably okay. a good thing because oh. I actually am a pro. I am a professional now. What meaning I get paid. Oh my gosh, I can what? hear her laughing down the hall, but it's just like, uh, 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 in the chat. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. It's like, it only picks my laughing up occasionally. Yeah, that's okay. I'd... Thanks for helping. You guys can take one of them if you'd like. Oh, I don't oh know. yeah, oh. certainly. Uh... I mean that's another that's uh, a meal for a couple days before it goes bad. Oh. Yeah, I'm I mean like the guy over there, he charged me for just a little side piece of bacon. I think it was uh, about two silvers, so yeah, this oh. is quite a good deal that we got going on here for free. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes, we can make some save jerky my life tonight. And... Oh, oh this... I would have saved your life for free. Doesn't cost any money. Or a bar. Uh. Except you have to get paid. Well, I do get paid, but that's usually for my charm and playing the drum. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the drum is someone's head. You know? <laughs> hey, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, everything's a drum. <laughs> you just so gotta kind of... pull the skin tight enough pull out a little bag and like start shoving one of the boar into the bag well have a nice day i guess well where are you going i'm taking these to elmwood to sell to elmwood oh okay well it's a good thing we just came back from there there's a guy he runs a little tavern establishment make sure you put one over on him a little bit because he put one over on us but not too bad only for uh, breakfast. Dinner was, was covered for free. Also, oh, you should no. definitely have him make you up some of those potatoes with kind of like a creamy reduction of animal fat and oh. um, some cheese curds on top. Really ought to give it a try. Interesting. I, I guess. That sounds interesting. Um, oh, for sure. Did you come, uh, were you headed south or headed from the south at all or? Where, where were you coming from? Yeah, I was I was heading up from just, you know, the river. Are you are you from Stillwater? No. Oh. Have oh, you okay. heard much about it? Uh, I know that the woods are pretty bare around there. And the woods have just been pretty bare in general. So, yeah, the jerky is probably not a bad idea. Like there's a lot of bears or like there's no, not like much there's there. not much as there usually is. Okay, well. And we will make up a nice jerk set of jerky. Oh, this will be great. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is uh, very exciting. Yes. Oh, yeah. We should probably get a fire going to dry that out a little quicker then, eh? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, uh, what, time is, what time is it? It's about get... evening. You guys have hiked oh, okay. a whole day at this point. I'll go get some branches to make the nice smoking shelter over it. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um, and hey, I really like the loins. How about we just cook those loins <laughs> up for dinner? Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, Get yeah. them while they're fresh. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. 
Are you joining us, Zephyr? I always like to see the face of the thing that I'm going to eat. Uh, you said you do or you don't? I, I was, well, I said I do, but I was being sarcastic because... <laughs> uh, oh. Well, then we'll just go grab one of those over there that I got. There's no face left. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's cool. Very good. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> and then I'm like off just getting like, uh, like evergreen branches if possible. Um, humming. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you guys are able to um, to gather some firewood, make a nice little camp, um, have a great dinner, um, and These and dry some so of your meat. Great. So, how many Not days so of ration do you think we could get off of of this uh, meat? Roll a d4. Before, before I do what? Oh. <laughs> okay, it's enough to. F <laughs> you guys weren't able to scavenge too much off of it. It's enough to feed all of you pretty comfortably for one day, or um, to to just like if you tried to have it more as a snack, it'll get you by a couple of days. Okay. Well, Luck so is ration. Roller. So is ration two, because ration usually is like just enough to get you by, right? Yeah, it's yeah, it's uh, add one more ration to your to your oh, inventory, um, because you also were able. So I guess two days you had the the nice fresh pork dinner, um, mm. and then you have one extra day of jerky. Okay. So add two or add one. Add one. Add one. You just don't have to subtract one. We yeah. don't have to okay. subtract our rations for the yeah. evening. Okay. Um, day two, someone roll me a d20. Cannon. It's you, Cannon. It's your turn, Cannon. Type in. <laughs> Brando's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was, I was struggling. Someone roll me a d100. Me? Ooh. Third of the possibilities. Sorry, get out of here. That's how that works, right? <laughs> I rolled the D100 before, before Brando could. <laughs> Who did? Sawyer. Oh, uh, friggin' Sawyer. Did he get 66? Oh, no, 65. 65. Damn, he got two thirds and I got one third. Imagine okay. if he got 69. I've been playing. I like Call of Cthulhu, and it's like you want a low number. Yeah. Uh, in our group at work, uh, the therapist that I would run it with, um, in whenever we play Call of Cthulhu, he would always roll super high numbers, and then whenever we play D and D, he always rolls super low numbers. It's just how it goes. Every campaign. Um, okay. So after um, you guys kind of pack up camp and keep heading down, most of the day is pretty uneventful. Um, at some point, you will see a group of, um, make a, everyone can make a perception check. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, I'm okay. Getting used to my new small room. Oh yeah, you moved. What am I rolling? Deception? Perception. Oh. The other set. Unless you're trying to deceive yeah. them of something. <laughs> okay. Ash. She left, so. Where'd she go? She probably the bathroom. I almost did deception now because you <laughs> said that. <laughs> okay. Um. So you You're guys welcome. see some people approaching. Um. Even even from a distance, you recognize that these are um, elven individuals. Um, a group of four of them, and they have one kind of like, they're they're carrying one. Um, he appears badly injured. Oh, well, he looks badly injured. 
we should probably go be of assistance if we can. And I start taking my gloves and my helmet off and stowing them in my little pack. All right, guys. Well, uh, we gonna go over there? I mean, that guy looks like he's really hurt. We should probably help him out. Yeah, I'll go with you. That's it. Give me a second. Who's really hurt? Uh, some people that you see on the road. Okay. Sure, of course, I can... I am more than willing to help. So, as you guys approach, you will see um, that his fingertips are black. Um, and he is, like, barely aware of what's around him. And he has one large claw gash across his chest that the, the wound looks infected um, and the skin smells awful and um, is like an uncomfortable kind of green. Oh, man. It really looks like you're taking a, quite a beating there, bub. By chance, were you coming from Stillwater? Yeah, how'd you know? I've seen wounds like this before. There was a Quite a monstrosity down there, wasn't there? Yes, unlike anything I've ever seen. Could you describe it for my friends here? I didn't really... It was, uh... You know, it was a, it was a huge monster. It was um, terrifying. It was, you know, its eyes were peered into your soul. Uh, go ahead and make an insight check. Anyone or anyone who's suspicious of these people? Okay. Uh, suspicious. Awen, you get the sense that they didn't actually. The people carrying this guy um, didn't actually see what attacked him. They're kind of talking out of their butt. The rest of you guys are like, "Oh no, what are we getting ourselves into?" Not into? even conscious. He's he's. He's just it's like a doubt. Yeah, he's hanging in there, but not tracking any kind of conversation. Um, he's looking really gaunt, and uh, just yeah. Yeah, let let me help yeah. your friend. I'm gonna just put my hand on his his head, oh. and I'm just gonna use um, like let's give him like four HP from uh, of lay on him. <laughs> okay. Very specific number there. <laughs> um, he will like slowly start to like the wounds will start to close a little bit, and he'll kind of exhale deeply and then kind of fall asleep. Like, there you go, buddy. The first time I've seen him restful. You'll see his chest is still like rising and falling. He's not dead, but he's finally able to have some peace is it still looking like a little like a little gross yes okay then i'll go ahead and sing him a song of healing song of healing is when you take a short rest i believe what? no didn't no. we just take that's, a nap? that's, that's oh, a song of rest oh, okay, uh, okay like I, I meant healing word i'm just saying oh healing oh i see i see i see okay yeah. um okay go ahead healing word Um, his, the wound will, the skin color will kind of slowly fade back to normal skin tone. Um, so gangrene -y. Yes, it's not nearly as gangrene -y and just, uh, his fingers will start to get some color back in them. Thank you. Do you mind if we use... The rest of your... F oh, no, I guess you guys have been hiking for a while at this point. Never mind. You're not by your campfire anymore. What? They're about to ask to sit by the yeah. campfire. Oh. This is like 10 hours later. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank thank you for, for helping. Be careful down there. It's oh. dangerous. Oh, no worries. You mind if we uh, kind of sit back and relax until he wakes up? So that way, uh, 
we can get a little bit of information about what we're walking into. Yeah, by all means. Oh, no worries. Is there anything anyone would like to do while you're waiting for Gap? I mean, I ask them. I... Oh. Sorry. No, you go. I would ask them if they had seen anyone who was attempting to help <clears throat> fight the monster. Um, no, because most people don't know what the monster is. It's a urban legend. They just call it the beast. Kind of like a boogeyman or a Bigfoot. Big feet? Yeah, they got big they feet. They exist. No, I'm not talking about halflings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining like a halfling with clown shoes, like huge feet, little body. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Sure, like a. Uh... Has anyone come into the town? Um. Like a, uh, like any sailors or something that. Uh... Everyone's that leaving can... the town. No one's come in. Not that I've seen. Hmm. There's not a man you've heard of named Lamar Baudelaire. No. I think I was saying his name right. Yes, a, that was correct. Okay, then yeah. Yeah, no, sorry. I don't, hmm. I don't even by that name. Xandria, what did you say you were doing during the, this time of rest? Resting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, after probably about 45 minutes, um, he'll kind of... <gasps> Where are we? It's me. 15 minutes scared. waiting to talk to him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you guys? Uh, we're doing great. No, who are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm Xandria Mon, and this... Here, I'll let him introduce himself. Oh, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Loading my the screen. Name's, my name's Awin. Good to meet ya. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, you may call me the Zephyr. Okay, and... Oh, it's it's the Zephyr now. Okay, uh, no, I didn't uh, know it was a no, proper noun. No, it, it it's my my fault. I keep I say the Zephyr when I'm performing, but it it, it can be just Zephyr. Oh, okay. Just want to make sure. Nor son Roslov at your service and kind of takes the guy's hand. What? What did he, what did he say his last name was? Roslov. Roslov. <clears throat> Oh, are you keeping a journal of names? I'm trying to keep a journal of stuff. I tried to keep a journal of stuff, too, but I'm really bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta just get that keen mind feet. Yeah. So. You guys saved us? Or. Yeah. What? We, we healed you, so if that is a way of uh, man manner of saving, then of course. But they did. I mean, uh, we helped we you. We helped you help yourself. Thank you. Is it Lord? Lord? Did you say Lord Rosloff? No. no. Norson. Norson, Norson Rosloff. Because he's Nor he told us he was Norse on the Great, but he never told us his last name. Until now. Ba, ba, ba. He's the B. Oh, I thought this was the name of the no, um the person on the ground. Yeah. No. Gosh, he's still out. No, he just woke he's asking, like, you guys saved me? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. No. We all we did was help you help yourself. 
And these are elves, right? Yes. What is your name? Uh, my name is Elf Generator. Oh, okay. So <laughs> no one important. Got it. <laughs> Oops, that's like a Christmas elf. Well, Steve. Um. Yeah. How's it We're going? Right. Um, the name, Steve. Steve yeah, on the shelf. He's in. He's in. Now elf Steve's gonna come Steve. back. <laughs> Steve on the shelf. Got it. Steve on the shelf. <laughs> so, um, we just wanted to kind of stick around. Make sure you woke up and that you're okay. But also, we wanted to ask you a couple questions. Sure. How much do you remember of being in town when the monster was going all spookity wookity crazily wazily? Well, I remember that, um, that everything was cold. It was night. Write this down, Apprentice. And uh. I just kept getting this feeling like something was was watching me. I felt it clawing at my mind, if that makes any sense. It doesn't, but it was just it was it was digging into me, tearing me apart from the inside out. And and then I don't remember much. Well, did you get all that down there? Yeah, cold, empty, then tearing apart from the inside out. Perfect. Is that so. right? Feeling watched. Oh, he said watch, too? He felt like he was being watched. Cool. You want to make sure that if you start feeling these symptoms, you notify somebody that has some training with this kind of stuff. Namely me, because I think I'm probably the only one who's found some kind of these things before. You feel a Got sort it. of... Did you feel a sort of fear taking over you? Yeah, like hopelessness. Hunger. Desperation. Oh, boy. That does not sound good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, with my extensive knowledge of uh, the... Nilshai? Nilshai. Um, this sounds like a Nilshai attack, doesn't it? Uh, you know, it's a little different every time, um, and you know that just kind of, there, there are similar threads of that feeling of despair and, um, and just kind of that feeling you get when you're surrounded by just pure evil, um, but th the other things that he's mentioning aren't extremely familiar, no. Oh, boy. You guys ready for a good one? This is going to be weird. Who knows what we're walking into. Could be something I know, something I don't. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh boy, yes, that is so much fun. Okay. Um, do you need any more help from us, Steve? Uh, no, I... Thank you. You saved my life. Of course. It was the least we could do. Oh. And looking at him, he almost looks not like plump, but he doesn't look as gaunt. He looks more alive. That is good. Oh, it's so good to see you looking more alive there, bud. I give you a good old pat on the back, but I think that might hurt quite a bit right now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> no worries. The road ahead safe? Heading north? Well, there was uh, nothing... There was some boar you might want to watch oh. out for. Boar? Yeah. I mean, we killed the ones yeah, that I mean, we, we saw. we killed four of them, but... Four? I mean, you saw four boar? Oh, yeah, but, you know, sometimes they can run in packs of 30 to 50 wild hogs. What? You know, it's no good. 
So, you know, just be careful for some wild, some wild boars. Cannon's like, boar. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I hope we run into some. It's been a while since I've had pork. Oh, yeah, they're pretty, pretty good. Make sure you get the loins. The rest is great for jerky or sausage if you have the means. But, you know, out here, just mostly go with the jerky because sausage yeah. is kind of hard to make. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Good luck. I mean, you can get a bunch of rosemary over there, but, I mean, yeah. It's kind of <laughs> lacking on all the other flavors. Wait, how do you make sausage? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> don't. Probably. So don't, I'm assuming actually, you don't, don't really want to know. Yeah, actually, Most don't people tell me. don't want to know how you make the sausage. <laughs> I, I, you know, dear, okay. they don't really want to know. Dear. Dear. How what? old are you? What? Are you calling me dear? Or are it's... you saying that dear? Like the animal? No, like you're dear to me, dear. <laughs> <laughs> We're becoming best friends. I have decided now that is very sweet to you. <laughs> Best friend doesn't roll off the tongue as much as deer, but I can I can agree with you. A little distance there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you are able to sleep another night, safe and sound. Come morning, um, uh, Norson will kind of fly up and check where you guys are relative to the landscape, and then. Um, kind of part ways with you, saying that he is heading um, to check for land in Harrowdale. It would uh, Harrow what? Dale. Dale. Would I be? A, do I? It's just a city. It's a port city you've been to. Where? Uh, on the Sea of Fallen Stars, or actually in the Dragon Reach, which is like a channel of the Sea of Fallen Stars. Okay, Harrowdale. No song. Uh, yeah. I, I have a favor to ask. Um, sure. I have this letter that I was wanting to send to Suzelle. Would you be willing to... I can... Actually, I got, I've got the money that could uh, help you to get that sent off. Sure thing. You got me this far safely. It's, you know, I'm sure I could fly over the forest, but uh, it's, you know, tiring, so... Of course. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. How much is it going to cost? Uh, how much are you willing to give him? He'll just take uh, whatever you do. I'll give him a gold. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't take, cost more than a gold. Good luck with your no shy. It's no shy. Uh, thank you. I think we will need all the luck we can get. I think it's okay. going to be real important that we get pretty lucky. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I don't know why you said it like that. That's creepy. And <laughs> as you guys continue on, um, about midday, when you'd expect the day to be getting the warmest, um, a, a cold breeze blows through the forest, and you can feel it kind of seep into your clothes, into your armor, and chill your bones as the temperature drops dramatically. I am going to cast uh cast a digitation. I'm going to, <laughs> uh, no, I do not have that one right now. I'm going to cast detect magic. Okay. Just to see like if this is a a spell specifically or if it's just sort of like like natural magic kind of ability uh, thing. It is n not a spell. You don't nothing sort of picks up when you cast it. Okay. okay. And then um, the day is cold until the sun begins to set. And as the sun kind of dips over the horizon or over the into the canopy of trees, um, heavy snow begins to fall. And your visibility is reduced until the point where you can barely see each other. The path disappears. Um, and you are kind of wading through shin-deep snow. Yeah, and that's we where we're going to take a break. We should probably take <laughs> a break right there. Yeah. So we'll be back in... Uh, what do you guys want for a break? 15. 15 minutes. So at 
whatever hour, 50. All right. We'll Jeez. be back. 14 minutes, but whatever. 10 till the hour. Okay, bye. 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 See you in a bit. Guys, where did you mute us? He's not saying anything. <laughs> so if you're still here, uh, we're, I'm gonna go tell my husband to mute the chat. But thanks yeah. for being here. Yeah. We'll be back at fifty. <laughs>
What? Okay. Are we rolling? We're back. We're back. And it's really freaking cold, guys. It's so cold, I'm shivering. It's much like the Frozen film. Like, it was very nice and comfortable. Not, It's like a comfortable summer. Um, and now it is... You guys are wading through snow. Oh, I was not prepared for this. Um, anyone is welcome to make either a survival or a perception check. Okay. Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Okay. Dang it, man. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Um, in the distance, uh, Zandria, you have a hard time seeing this um, through the snow, but Zephyr and Awen, in the distance, you can see a small building. Big file. Big file. Okay. It should go though, yes? Yes. I've made this decision. I'm <laughs> making this decision for the group. We are going there to warm up. I mean, maybe we should kind of check things out a little bit first, you know? I will die of exposure if I'm out here a second longer. Hello! Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw, everyone. Oh no. That's not good. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Wait, wisdom saving wisdom throw? Wisdom saving throw. I can do this. I can do this. <sighs> <laughs> okay, uh, you say, okay, hello! And um, it kind of echoes through the wind, and for a moment it feels. Like the words kind of, for lack of better description, they kind of curve through the air and almost come back towards you. Um, and they feel as though they are coming from around you and kind of echoing into your mind. Hello? 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 Oh, that... No, thank you. Okay, we should go. This is not a good place, especially for me. I'm it okay, is I'm just cold. going to be I'm going to be honest here. If you have not noticed already, I am completely useless in a combat situation. <laughs> so this is a bad place for me to be at right now. You make me feel great while I'm in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> that's well that's very kind, but I can't fight. I mean I can technically, but I all I have is this dagger. You guys feel the cold seeping into your boots. <laughs> you are mentally, physically exhausted. You each have one point of exhaustion. Oh. Ah. Okay, into the building, into the building. We need to get out of this cold. Okay. And I, just, I just start making a beeline to the I'm going to grab your shoulder as you turn to run towards the thing, and I'm going to cast Calm Emotions. Or not Calm Emotions, uh, Heroism. Okay. okay. I guess you... You are, what? Im Im uh, uh. you are imbued with bravery, and then until the spell ends... Um, you're immune to being frightened and gain temporary hit points equal to my spellcasting ability modifier. Okay, now that lasts for one minute. Yeah, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, that's true. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, so you are immune to being frightened. Okay. And temporary hit points of four hit points? Yeah. Okay. 
And then also, you are imbued with bravery. Yes. We will bravely go to the building. <laughs> <laughs> It is a stupid idea to be out here right now when we have no idea what we are facing and where that thing is. Yeah, I'd say it's probably a good idea to go to the the building, but let's do it with some bravery and some can-do yes, attitude, okay? <laughs> we, are bravely, spirit. we are bravely retreating. That is what we are doing. Okay. Yeah, gallantly we're gonna check in and out. Let's go into this building here. Okay. Um, Dan. Wait, I'm just going to move you back real quick. Oops, sorry. So I'm just going to copy and paste you onto the other map. Boop. It is much bigger than this, but this is the map we got for today. Um, okay. So there, when you step into here, um, as you approach the building, the... Um, the door, one of the doors is kind of knocked off of its hinges and has claw marks on it. Um, and inside there is upturned furniture. Um, and it looks, uh, there are like little bits of dust and snow or frost on it. Um, and there are... Um, there's like a little bar and a kitchen, um, and you get the sense that this once was an inn, but has since been abandoned. Um, inside, mm. it is warmer. It is still cold, but um, you are not like actively freezing. Um, and a frozen body sits behind the bar with its mouth open in a silent scream. Oh. Hey. Isn't it a good thing that we're all such heroes and so brave there? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this token. Don't get frightened by it. That's just what I got for a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sh does a does a nilshrit typically do this? Milsha are complex creatures. You've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything <laughs> like this. They're complex creatures. I've never seen anything like this. But doesn't mean it's not a Milsha. Have I heard of any other sort of creature that would do something like this? Go ahead and make an Arcana check. Oh, that's that's a good one. Okay, um, you would know that there are um, several different mythical creatures that um, are kind of associated with this abnormal cold. Um, you, the one that is kind of gnawing into the back of your mind and is terrifying you is the legend of the Wendigo. Oh. Thinking back, what, did any of the injuries on the elf look similar to Wendigo in like something typical of what a Wendigo would do? You saw claw marks, which could have been animal, could have been Wendigo. Mm -hmm. um, it, you didn't see any like chunks of flesh missing, which is more indicative of a Wendigo. Um, but you, he was also mostly closed and covered, um, like with blankets and stuff. But it was mm -hmm. so it was hard to tell. But you do also remember that he had, like, frostbitten fingers. Oh. It, it is possible that this is not a... I mean, not a Nilshai at all. I, to, to be fair, I don't know what a Nilshai is, but this, this feels like a Wendigo. Like, and then I just sort of describe what I remember of a Wendigo to them. Okay. You would know that they um, are creatures made um, 
from self cannibalizing um, and that they are known to be um, tormented fey spirits, kind of like a banshee, um, and that they are that they are known with cold and that they will continue to consume humanoid creatures until their curse is lifted. We should have been asking people about any sort of stories about someone be being a cannibal or something like that. <sighs> Well, it's a little bit too late for it now, but, um, you know, if you, you think it might be a Wendigo, what do yes. you do about that? How do you lift the curse? Well, if I remember correctly, the only thing is just to get rid of it. It doesn't... So... Either the stories were about a hero, uh, like, killing it with a... Or just a, a doomed, sad ending. As you well, say that, um, the shutters on the windows begin to rattle. Yeah, I'd really prefer not to have that sad, depressing ending. Um, so I guess it... <laughs> kind of leaves it up to us, so um, I go ahead and I get my flail, and I just kind of start jingling the chain of it, and I'm like, I think that means that uh, we gotta do what we gotta do there now. Yes, uh, before you go, and I, and I put a hand on your shoulder, you did a kindness for me, and so I do a kindness for you. And I cast heroism on you. Okay. Oh. Well, thank you there. Well, well, let me see. Kind this. of in this in between, um, I'm going to say that you're both for the split second covered by it. Uh, Zandria, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. So, ability more for it. So, you get, you get, uh, you get five temporary hit points. Okay. You were starting to feel that despair that he was talking about, that, that feeling of hopelessness. This cold is never going to go away. It's seeping into your bones, into your mind, and into your soul, and you don't know if you can go on. Oh, I could feel it. Oh, I, this isn't me. This isn't the, This isn't me. I'm not meant... No. No. Well, what's going on there, bub? I am not... I... This is... I am not this kind of hollow. Uh, yeah. I don't think you're hollow. I think that you got stuff inside you. You probably got some... Like a big old heart that's beating, pumping blood. You got turbo dinosaur power in you, buddy. And I give him a good old clap on the shoulder and I'll cast <laughs> I'll cast hero with them on him too. Everyone's a hero <laughs> in their own way. <laughs> what does that do to me for a minute? You are immune to f fear for one minute. Oh, okay. And you have four temporary was, hit points. I thought it was ten. Oh, one minute. Sorry, one I see minute. it now. Yeah. And right. yours has faded, Ash. Okay. But the temporary hit points stay, right? No. They go away oh. at the end of the minute, too. Oh, interesting. Let's get rid of this thing! Yeah, this thing seems pretty bad, and I kind of swing my little flail around and bang it on my shield, and I'm just like, Hey, come out, come out, wherever you are, you big ol' meanie. <laughs> we should uh, heal yeah. in the in the inn. I draw my bow, so we don't see this creature. Actually, you don't see anything. Do? Okay, so I just draw. You my You can bow, make though. take a look see. to see if it's hiding somewhere. Where would a would I know where a Wendigo would typically hide? 
You know that they are large creatures. Wait, so what is this that we see? Do we see this thing? It's a skeleton, yeah. It's a frozen dead body. Just frozen dead body. Got it. Nobody touch it, but maybe we could throw something at it. (laughs) I could could shoot it. So, Wendigos are are large, so they won't be in... It's less likely to be in a building. Yeah, but maybe it's like... It would be out there. No, I don't. I did not feel magic earlier. This is all natural. Curses are like magic, you know. Well, possibly, but this was an ability that it just has. It's not something that is really magical. It's like a spell-like ability, not. <laughs> possibly, I mean, like it. <sighs> I wasn't looking for very long. It was only like 10 minutes. Because that's as long as the spell lasts. Um, but, uh... I mean, it could still be mag- It could still be a magical thing. But... Well, if, but... I, if, if you guys are pretty sure, then let's... Let's charge on out of here and... Let's go and get us some, eh? All of the windows fly open and, like, snow and cold starts to funnel into the building. Oh, yeah. It's my cue. And I'm just gonna... But that means that at least it could be close if it knows that we're here. I'm just gonna yell, Hey, Will! Ian (laughs) Sartre! Yeah, come on out here, you big old mump. You, you lily-livered cod swallop. Be careful. Oh, I'm being careful. That's why I'm wearing a helmet, silly. I yell it. I can't really understand your grumbly voice. Come on out and talk to me like, you know... A regular stand-up kind of fella. Inside the tavern, you hear the sounds of, like, claws scraping against the walls. <sighs> uh, he's gonna wear me out just running back and forth in and out of this room. Do, do Wendigos go invisible? Make another Arcana check. Uh, with that, you get the sense that you haven't seen anything. Yeah, this is cool. I love this. They are known as being silent hunters that they stalk their prey and play with their food. Cannot remember, but I think it uh, it likes to play with its food, so it's possible that it is uh, invisible right now inside the tavern. Is the tavern big enough for there to be an invisible thing in there? Uh, if it's like an squeezed through large. the door, yeah. <laughs> All right, hold on. Stay out of my way. And I'm just going to go over by the um, thing, and I'm just going to hold my mace out and just start spinning in circles. <laughs> Are you trying to get the, the skeleton or just nearby the skeleton? Nearby the skeleton, okay. like just in general, just spinning in circles, holding a mace out, trying to cover as much ground as I can. Like a little kid, you know, holds like yeah. a... yeah. Just kind of going like... You smell delicious. Oh, no! And I fire at the ceiling. because I've been eating a pretty steady <laughs> diet of fried potatoes and uh, 
like a animal <laughs> cat production. <laughs> Xandria, what are you shooting at? I fired ceiling? at the ceiling. Yeah. At the ceiling? Okay. Roll to hit. The ceiling? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Good. Sticks in the ceiling. Damage to the ceiling. Okay, I might I might do something very stupid right now. Um Come and eat me! Yeah, uh, yeah. Start with an appetizer. I'm the shortest one. Everybody make a wisdom saving throw. Gosh, dang it. Uh. Okay. Oh. Zephyr, you take another level of exhaustion. And you swear that you see something out of the corner of your eye. When you turn, nothing's there. Right. Uh, was that left or right, though? By the door. Shoot by the door! Shoot by the door! See if there's anything there! Just gonna fire. Roll to attack. <laughs> you hit the door. You blow the door off its hinge. No, just kidding. <laughs> and say it probably has more than 16 hit points. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe we could find some kind of clue here on this dead fella. And so I'm going to take a look at the skeleton. It I go grab be... my arrow while it's he's looking at the check. skeleton. Make a medicine check. I don't think that is something that I know anything about i'm going to take a seat oh I wow am. that was good nice okay let's see um you will notice that there are chunks of flesh um that have been cut from the body um and like it has fingers missing um it has uh like a good chunk missing out of its leg um and it looks yeah like swiss cheese person all right i'm willing to uh concede that i, I might have been wrong we might not be going up against the most <laughs> out here. this might actually Just be a win to go go ahead and make a make a passive perception or not passive make a perception check for me Okay, you also see that um, behind the um, body there is a notebook. Oh, hey guys, I found a notebook. All right, let's uh, take that and go read it somewhere else. <laughs> well, where are we going to read it? It's called Man. outside. And Xandria steps out the door. Okay, you step out the door. Well... Might as well. Do, do you point. describe the what does it? What do the injuries look like? What? Uh, the, the the it never mind. <laughs> oh, it was waiting for you. So the injuries look like uh, he's been bitten and chewed on and removed some flesh. Basically, but, uh, but... the things that you were saying about a Wendigo. It might, <laughs> might look like that happened. To this Did, guy. Uh, but, and, but, and, but and as Mayor, I say, you had said you had said that it was cut, right? What do, there were body it, part like fingers that looked like they had been cut off. So um, like self inflicted. That's what you guess. That might be the Windigo, uh, the Windigo's corpse, maybe. I scream. Um. Uh, Okay, and, and 
said scream is pretty forceful. It is going to get a <laughs> It's going to get a surprise round, but then everyone can go ahead and roll initiative. What about my scream? Oh, that's what you mean. I mean, it's still getting a surprise round on you. Okay, do it I was get a invisible surprise round on out. it as well? No, because it was watching you guys the entire time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a bad one. Oh, boy. Do 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 is this thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and that's every. I was like waiting for. Oops. Just waiting for other people in there. Here. Uh. Do some battle music. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to do its surprise round on you. Am I rolling two? Okay. Uh, does a 17 hit you, Xandria? Probably. Hold on. Hold up. Yes. Okay. Um, he's going to do... Eight points of slashing damage. Holy uh, As crap. it claws into you. I'm... Ouch. I they said out. I'm like, out. you are not. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no. We're dead. <laughs> um, and... That's at surprise round, so it's gonna go again, though. So now it's gonna try to bite at you. Oh my gosh. And 19 will hit you then. Oh my gosh. I am going to be dead. Okay, you're going to take five points of piercing damage. Um, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> you remember we're level two, right? Yeah, I know. Do I have this at disadvantage? No. What's... I'm counting. The exhaustions are uh, for this where the 1D&D &D rolls. So you have 10 and then you just die. Okay, you're good. Okay, um, that's its turn. Wait, what? For this whole campaign? No, just for the, the Wendigo has fighting that way. Oh, okay. Because this would have been way worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you were like, I'm at half movement. I have disadvantage on literally everything. <laughs> like, yeah. So this this fight is based off of the 1D&D &D exhaustion rules. Okay, Xandria, you're the up. The 1D&D, I don't know what those it, are. It doesn't do the, like, each level of exhaustion doesn't do a different thing. It's a minus one, two, three. So I believe Zephyr and Xandria are minus two to their, um, to hits. But uh, you get 10 and then you die. Oh. I believe oh, that's Oh, well, anyways, so I guess I'm going with the, I'm guess I'm going with the scream anyways. Okay, and go so for it. it has a little forceful blast behind it. Okay, so I need to make a uh, deck save. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, sir. And oh, that is... failed. Okay, for sure. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, and then so then I roll a d10. Uh, on. I'm having technical difficulties. Okay. Wow, that's okay. Hey, it does Great damage. Damage. And um, it's just so dumb. But I can't stay here. I run. Okay. Five. He is going to try to slash at you. Fifteen. Twenty. That misses. Let me find thirty. Missed me? Yeah. Oh, Rolled a nat seven. <laughs> okay. That's your turn, Zephyr. You heard a scream, a very forceful scream, but a scream. Uh, do I remember like fire? Fire does big damage to Wendigo, right? Um, make another. Make another. But. Arcana check. Okay, yes, fire does a lot of damage to it. Okay. Um, and you 
remember that it's uh, you're having a hard time remembering, but you know that there are other or other things that it that don't do a ton of damage to it. You guess cold because you know cold monster. Yeah. Do I? Would I know with that Arcana check of any stories that talk about like its original body or whatever? You know that there's something to do with the original body, um, and that you have to do something to the original body. Okay. But with um, that check, you can't remember right now. You're very stressed yeah. and very tired. And did you say that this was fi this had a fire going no. or? Okay. It's a fireplace, but it is not actively lit. Um. Go, go help Sandria. I will see what I can do in here. And I'm going to... I'm going to try to start a fire. Okay. Do you have, like, a tinderbox or any sort of fire I think so. spells? Oh. I mean, you have. Julie, can you give me a tender box, please? I don't have a tender box. <laughs> you don't have like torches. No, no way to light them. Uh, I have. I have an mm -hmm. entertainer's pack that has. Oh, you have entertainer's pack. Okay, never yeah. mind. Okay. So I. Yeah, I do have a tender box. Okay. It's your turn. Okay, so chucking my tinderbox across the room to <laughs> okay. her, what type of what what would that be? I'll just say that's a an interaction option because you it's in your pocket. You've been making the campfires the last few nights. So I'll chuck it across the room at her. Do I need to make a roll for that? No. Okay. So I do that and then do, do, I will bonus action uh, Thundering Smite. Okay. I can just mark that down. And then um, I will go ahead and just start swinging this flail, doing some Bruce Lee nunchuckery. And okay. first one is a horizontal smashing attack directed kind of at his neck area. Okay. There's so many tabs open. Um it kind of it kind of like blocks it with its skeletal arm um and it doesn't land with impact, like the same kind of impact. Oh, perfect there, bud. That's what happened with the boar, too. <laughs> yeah, and there we go. <laughs> okay. Kind of no, it redirects it, and I just get him with, like, a, a flailing uppercut, and then that's when the smite activates. Okay. Nice. So he takes seven bludgeoning, which also, when I do damage with the bludgeoning, um, he moves five feet um, back and then okay. on top of that he takes 2d six okay so he takes an additional nine and he has nice. to make a strength saving throw of 15. Okay. Let's see. That is a failure. So he is pushed 10 feet away, more, and knocked prone. Okay. So he just, the uppercut just like lifts him out of the air and he just soars like 15 yeah. feet away. A large creature. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, and do your thunder damage. Or is that uh, the that thundering was the smite? Was, did the, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought that was from your other thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, it's turn. It's gonna get up. 
Move back up here. Didn't like that. First one's gonna miss. Second one bite is gonna miss. Okay, and uh, it's gonna look at... Yeah, you've succeeded. So it's gonna look at you, Zandria, and start whispering things and you hear it in your head. Make a wisdom saving throw. Wait, what? Make another wisdom Thank saving you. throw. Dang it. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> You're feeling a little bit braver. Yeah. Just inspiration okay. is working. Your turn, Zandria. Shoot her! Shoot her! Oh, that, that's definitely going to miss, and roll a d8 for me. I mean, d10. Yes, I'm going to Uh, oh, <laughs> this is gonna stink. Okay, um, so you pull a muscle as you go to attack, um, and you are going to take... Oof! Uh, mm. You're gonna take four points of necrotic damage. Oh. oh my Which normally God. wouldn't be bad. <laughs> but <laughs> Not you bad. are frightened, cold, and everything hurts. Okay. Um, that is so your I turn, correct? That. Wait, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> I uh, continue to run. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. Okay. All right, Zephyr. Okay. I'm going to try lighting the fire. Okay. Make a survival check. <laughs> okay, you light the fire. Okay. And then I get up and I come over here. Um and I'm going cuz I assume I can because I did the survival check I cannot uh cast a spell, correct? Uh what are you trying to cast? I'm trying to cast mage hand. I'll allow it because it's a cantrip. Okay. I'm going to cast Mage Hand, and with the aid of the Mage Hand, I'm going to start dragging the body over to the fire. Okay. Uh, it weighs more than 10 pounds. You're not going to be able to. Well, I know. Like, it's... It, it's Oh, just loosen... Or, like, lightning. It, it's yeah, making lightning, the body 10 the pounds lighter. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Go ahead and make a strength check. <laughs> Okay, minus guys. two because of your other things. Minus two? Yeah, because it's the maddening whispers. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. You can get it about. You knock it off the table, or the <sighs> it's seat on the bar. It's really gross. There are chunks missing out of it, like fingers <laughs> missing. <laughs> I'm going to like you go to pull this. the arm, and like the arm kind of snaps, and you're like, huh. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Awen. Alrighty here. So I'm gonna I'm staring this thing straight in the face and I'm like, you hoser. And uh I'll go ahead and Take <laughs> off, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll cast a, another thunderous smite. Um, and I'll just start swinging for the fences. Okay. Ah! That's a very polite battle cry. That one misses. Oh, there, buddy. You're moving pretty quick, but my flail is quicker. Uh, because of your Maddening Whispers, that one misses. I don't think I have Maddening Whispers. You you lost one exhaustion point. The first one. Oh. Yeah, they have two. You have one. You get the sense that almost hits and something unnerves you at the last second. 
Okay. Um, but your spell is still up. You just did not hit that round. And I, I just have to hit him next round. Yeah. Okay. It's going to try to hit you. Good luck, Bob. <laughs> yeah, not with that. You guys are going to be out here till the end of time. It can't hit you either. Um, and it can't see Zephyr. So, okay. That's its turn. Xandria. Okay. I sit there and I'm like, okay. I got this. I got this. And I just take in a deep breath and I use my bonus action for second wind. Okay. So this is D10 plus two. Oof. Gosh, dang it, man. <laughs> it could have been worse. It could have been worse. By a little bit. Yeah. Um, so it was plus five. Okay. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> um, all right. So that was my bonus. Now I am frightened, you said? No, you are not frightened. You just, I mean, right. you are frightened, but you... not, you don't have the frightened condition. Okay. 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 okay this yeah, thing cause... is in your head. You feel like it is watching you even through the building. <laughs> oh, I have not been playing that right. Oh, I can only do it once. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm feeling, feeling, I got this second wind. So 5, 15, 20, 25. All right. I pull and I shoot. A uh, second win bonus action? Yes. Okay, sweet. Okay. And I fire. That will hit. And all right, let's do this. And then That'll can hurt. I do... Uh, can I have... Okay, Okay. Starting at second level, you can push yourself beyond your normal limits for a moment. On your turn, you can take one additional action on top of your regular action and a possible bonus action. So I can do, I can have my action surge this round, right? Yes. Okay. So I fire again. Okay. It kind of looks up at you as you go to fire. Um, and that moment of brief eye contact makes you lose your nerve and it, the shot goes wide. Okay. Um, all right. And then what's, what's with that verbiage there and possible bonus action? I don't understand. I think it's just that you get everything back. Like you basically restart your turn. Okay. So, so I could have, have an, if I have another piece. bonus action thing, yeah. I can use it. But That's I my understanding of it. Don't think I do, but hold, please. Uh, I don't think I have another bonus action thing. Awen and, I... and the Wendigo just kind of stand there like NPCs in a video game, like <laughs> it's kind of bobbing up and down. Okay. Oh, if you still have your bonus action, you don't get a second one. Okay. Oh. So you already used it. Poof. All right. Okay. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Zephyr. Come on. Yep. Counting on you. And I'm going to try to... I'm going to keep pulling this thing over to the fire. Okay. Make a strength check. <laughs> it's so rolling so bad. It like snaps again and you're like worried that it's like bending at an unnatural angle now. And you're like... Uh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no. Okay. I don't really. I don't know what. Like, there's not much else I can do right now. Okay. Awen. I knew I shouldn't have gone step south. I should have stayed in the north. But you know <laughs> what, Buckaroo, you're going down too. <laughs> All right, that'll hit. And uh, so that'll do. Ah, I don't know how apples work. Okay, so it does five plus five, so ten. 
He has to make a strength saving throw of 15. Okay. Let's see. That's an 18. Okay. So he's still pushed back um, like five feet. Okay. So I smack him and then I'll take a step forward and I'll say, you don't scare me. And then I'll go ahead and whack him again. Uh, that barely hits. Man, I'm just five, 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 yeah. five. Nickel and dime. Nope, just nickels. Nickels, nickels and nickels. I did the dime. I did the dime. You did the dime. <laughs> okay. Together. Right I did the dime. We have done a quarter. <laughs> okay. Um, it's turn. Kind of some snow is going to like lift from the ground and wrap around its body and kind of like warp over the parts that you've been like bludgeoning. Uh, mostly his face. Mostly his face, yes. And creates a sort of like armor for itself. Um, okay. And he's gonna bite at ya. Ready. Come He's on. Gonna bite a, get a bite full of metal. I'm a giant tin can. Uh, his second one will hit, so he'll hit you with his claws. And you will take, wow, three, or sorry, four points of, uh, of slashing damage there. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try taking eight. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> got you good when you came out. Uh, and that's <laughs> yes. its turn. Um. I moved him I, into I, a better position for you. This is where your last one went. Just do it exactly <laughs> the same as the last one. Where's Zephyr? And then I fire at him. Okay, fire. Right now, I'm good. <laughs> but I do yell that. I was yelled. Um, fire. Okay. That misses. You did not do the same thing. That is loud, sorry. And I freaking missed. That is loud. Um, okay. Uh, did I hear anything back from Zephyr when I yelled? I think you heard it crying, and I'm trying. All right, I can get to here. Okay. You can now see her. And suffering at pulling a dead yeah. body. Okay. Okay, Zephyr. Try again with my mage hand and me. Strength. <laughs> gosh darn it. Oh my gosh. It's not Gosh. going anywhere. <laughs> Trying to get it over to the fire. This is not working. I'm a weakling. <laughs> okay, somewhere in the world, Dreed is somewhere. like, I hope that I have com travel companions one day who are as strong as me. <laughs> All of our fitness journeys start somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, okay, anything else, Zephyr? I guess at that point, like, I, I see, well, yeah. I see, um, well, wait. If I cast a spell, does that dispel my mage hand? Yes, because your mage, I think okay. mage hand is concentration, right? No, it doesn't say. It just says that it's a duration of one minute. Oh, okay. I thought it was okay. concentration. Okay. Then... I'll see, I'll see Zandria, and I'll be like, "Oh, you look out! Let me help you!" And I will cast you over. Oh, thank. <laughs> My healing word is pumpernickel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. six points. That's the minimum amount that you could get. Thank it's you. It's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's it's true. better than I did for myself. That second win. All right, Awen. <laughs> All 
Alrighty. Keep nickeling it! I'm gonna keep nickeling it, don't you worry. <laughs> that's a neg. No, I didn't nickel Go ahead and that roll one. Ten for me. Uh, what is that? It is a natural one. One of the scariest things in the world. That's good. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> You rolled a six. Uh, make a strength save. Himself <laughs> Okay. You are able to kind of hold on to your weapon, um, but as you try to try to, um, did it stop for you guys? Yeah. Just now, yeah. That's so weird. Okay. Um. As or like as you go to hit, um, its impact with the snow makes you almost drop the weapon, but you're good. Okay, got another attack. I'll go ahead and I'll, um, after missing, I'll kind of just continue the momentum of it and try to whip it like sideways into good. his face instead of overhand. Really the good. overhands haven't been. Okay. That one also does not hit. It doesn't. Okay. More snow is going to kind of pile up around it, and it's gonna try to attack you, and yes, your stinking high AC, and miss again. <laughs> I told you you're gonna be here till the end of time. Yeah, because I can't. It's a race to save my life. It's a race to see who's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Drag the body first, or, <laughs> or like you guys are gonna kill each other. I'm just gonna push him off the map. Yeah, slowly but surely. Just gonna like boop. back in Elmwood, and boop. they're like <laughs> trying to deal with it here. Okay, Zandria. Hmm. Your turn. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> um. Well, thank you. That that felt. That felt better. Um, to the fire, huh? And so I, you see, so five, ten, ten gets me there. And, uh, strength check, I guess? Is that what's going on? Yeah, if you guys are working together, I will say roll, um, at advantage. Strength, <laughs> You bent that fork! You can do this! <laughs> yes. Okay. I said you could do it and you did it. Good job. I'm a luck charm. Just dragging a dead body. No biggie. Alright, Zephyr. <laughs> okay! Here I go! At advantage! Please! Thank you! Hey. <laughs> Oops, it's on top of you. Get it off, get it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awen. Alrighty, here we go. Have you ever tried the thing that's the the legally uh, distinct <laughs> version of protein? <laughs> I missed one. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah, that's a no. That's gonna be a no. It's gonna be a no for me. That's a no. Uh, that it will hit. Fourteen will hit. No, the one that the oh, oh that the he's slash, doing okay. the yeah. claw. Uh, so you're gonna take six points of slashing damage. Six. Yes. Okay, that's its turn. Okay, it's Andrea. Do this. We're so close. <clears throat> Teamwork makes the dream work. What does that mean? Um, it means I'm very happy for you. <laughs> no. Oh, Wait. but you have you have disadvantage. No, they no, have advantage. Have okay. Advantage. Oh. Because they're working together. Oops. 
So do we get? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was trying to drag it, and you. Dra <laughs> okay, it just ended up on top of me right now. That's the consequence of me touching my, my own. Okay, my Never. own token. Okay. <clears throat> Teamwork makes the dream work. I like the sound of that. Teamwork makes the dream work. No! <laughs> uh, as you go to do this, the arm finally gives way and like goes flying into the fire. That was so close! Do we, hear it anything? Do does... we hear anything? Or does anything happen when the arm goes in the fire? Nope. Not that you hear. <laughs> Maybe the whole thing. Okay, Ava. <laughs> Alright. You injured me slightly. I'm not too thrilled about that. <laughs> I took my first damage, dang it. <laughs> I've taken a little bit here and there, but now you've got my attention there. Alright, that will hit. So I swing okay. in it and I whack him in the face right in his little where he put that ice all over him. Okay. Well, on so his snow face. goes flying. So, yeah, snow just goes. And then continuing to spin. That one will miss. I uh, miss. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. I think. Goodness gracious. Okay, it rolled really well against Squishy Zandria, but against you, nah. Nah. We're so not gonna roll above a six. <laughs> okay, Zandria. It's like true Brando fashion to almost die in like the first real fight. I think is what's what's going on here. I mean, JJ almost died in his negative one. That's true. Um. Okay. Strength and advantage. Almost there. Almost there, okay. Shit now. Yeah. Just, now we could just push. Push! Okay. Push with all your might! With all my might! Okay. Hey. You push Finally. it in. Um, Go ahead and roll a d10. Oh, dear. Okay. You hear shrieking in all of your heads. Oh man, that's, that's quite annoying. I really, <laughs> really wish I didn't be hearing that right now. <laughs> and this thing, the one in front of you, um, Awen, kind of doubles over and like stumbles for a second and then kind of raises itself back up and has its claws ready. Raising himself back up, I'm gonna switch back to an overhand strike, swinging with all the leverage and all of the rotational uh, energy that I can muster. All right, that'll hit. Ready? And I, <laughs> they'll do damage. I'll bring it down with a three cent piece. Oh my god! <laughs> Smack him right on the top of the forehead and I'll continue that extra rotational energy and swing it back down again and send it directly into the snow. Yeah, right in the snow. It kind of poof. Okay, it's gonna try its last ditch effort. That one will chomp at ya. You're gonna take five points of uh, piercing damage as it bites you and tries to claw with a nat one. So let's see. Now I got to roll. Boop. And dies. Um, okay. It's next strike at you will be a disadvantage as it's losing its focus. We'll see if it survives till then. Okay, Zandria. Five, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. All right. Let's hope this helps. And I fire, 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 fire. Loose. 
And then I have to do buttons, buttons, buttons. That will hit. Uh, the 17. 17? Oh, you're right. It's, sorry. No, that will miss. As the shrieking in your head I'll is the, disorienting. I'll take, I'll take the comment that'll hit. <laughs> yeah, you're not at advantage still. I know. I'm just saying like 16 hits. Um, wait, how much is my minus? Is it minus two? I thought it was minus two for you, because yeah. oh, you, man, you failed twice. 15, alright. <laughs> Boo. Okay, well then, um, uh, I have nothing else okay. to do. Zephyr, roll a d10. Ugh. Ugh. D10! Uh. Okay. Um. What you doing? I, I can I see, a win from here, or no? Mm, not I think really. Kind of clips the edge, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but can I see, Xandria? Or do I need to move forward? Okay. Five, you will have a better line of sight if you move forward. Yeah. Fifteen. Twenty-five. Um, and I'll, <clears throat> and I'll be like, well. I'm virtually useless now, except I believe in you, and I give you a bardic inspiration. Okay. Hey, win. I keep using it so that way I can keep giving you bardic inspirations. <laughs> oh. You're starting to really get on my nerves there, Mr. Wendigo. That'll hit. How do you want to do this? Oh, okay, cool. Um, so, uh, I've just been so ah. frustrated that I just throw my shield down into the snow, grab the uh, the little handle of the flail with both hands, and I just swing it like a like you're splitting wood, just okay, straight down, and it just cracks. Uh, the Wendigo's kind of like got like a skull, right? Yes. Like its its head is like a skull, right? Yes. Yeah, and it just kind of crushes it and just kind of powderizes the head of it. And does he have like little antlers? Yes. They just collapse into each other. And as they kind of land into the snow, they seep into the snow and almost sort of melt. Um, and the snow itself will slowly start like melting and getting lower and lower as the sun starts to come out and what's your passive perception passive. fifteen okay you see something kind of shiny in the snow where the, the wendigo was oh boy Check this out. I'll go ahead and, without any regard for my own personal <laughs> safety, pick it <laughs> yeah. up. Okay, oh, uh, it is a ring with a blue stone in the, the blue setting. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, sweet. I'm not going to put it on. I've learned a couple of things in my time as an adventurer, <laughs> but I am going to put it in my pocket. Okay. Guys, check that out. I'll kind of pass it around to anyone who's willing to touch it. And Xandria would. So, oh, this hey. is, oh, this is pretty. Yeah, I wouldn't put it on Apprentice there. No, yeah, you've 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 given me that warning a couple times. It seems wise. Here, here, you can. Or do you want to touch it there, Zephyr? Yeah, check it out. We'll have it checked out when we get to. Okay. We'll get it down and have it. Look, you know, make sure that it's not you know, cursed or. Some kind of weird thing that's gonna turn me into a Wendigo. Man, yeah. could you imagine? <laughs> that would be horrible. But the Wendigos are, are very tortured souls. Like, tortured enough that they feel that they have no choice but to start eating themselves. You know, such a bad deal, isn't it? But uh, you know what? We redeemed him. <laughs> his his soul's in, in heaven now. And uh, I hope so. I hope so too, because that's you know what I do. I send them to go find out. What? Yeah. That sounds a little morbid. I'm not going to lie. Eh. I mean, potato, tomato, you know. <laughs> Took my line. 
No, I don't know. But it's okay. I don't have to know everything. Uh, it's all right. It might not be uh, one of your Easterners kind of things. What? East? What? I guess. Yeah, like aren't East. you from? Aren't you from the east? But not not, not very far east. I'm from Suzel. Yeah, that's which is far west of where you're from. <laughs> it sounds like an Easter kind of place to me. It's west. Oh Action. well. Well, I haven't been known to be wrong before, hence Wendigo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's all right though. Well, I am glad that we were able to help them, though. I am sad that we were not able to do your, uh, your nearshy, uh, hunt. Oh, that's all right. You know, we'll uh, we'll find him eventually. Yeah. Those, those nearshy are. Oh man, probably a good thing that uh, we didn't find one here, cause you know he would have had you in his jaws, chomping, chomping, chomping like he did, Mister uh, Miss Andrea, and uh, that would have been really not so good for you. You said that they that they caused sadness and and fear the new the new shy. Oh yeah, they're just generally not uh, super pleasant. Do they? Do they drive people mad? Mm. Not usually. Yeah, in their own, in their own way. Okay. They themselves yep. are from uh are believed to be tortured souls or tortured um similar to like how a wizard becomes a lich, sorcerers when they lose their minds become nil shy. So yeah, like uh they basically stem from the madness of a sorcerer, so I mean, probably not too good for anybody being around them. And it's only sorcerers that are like this. Uh, pretty sure. I mean, I haven't tried it out personally. I don't think I've ever known a baker to turn into a nil side. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just asking because, like, there are other, like, spellcasters that are not like sorcerers. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can cast spells, too. By the way, how are you guys feeling? You hurting at all? You want, uh, you want I'm me to tired. give you all... I'm feeling tired? I don't we know if I go, can really do much about that. We should go into town and just let everyone know that we've taken... I think we've taken care of the... Can I remember now if... If, like, burning the body is actually the way to permanently take care of a Wendigo. Go ahead and make an Arcana check. Is there anything left? Um, nope. I'm you, too tired. It looks burned. It looks like things are changing around here. Is there anything left of the monster Wendigo? No. I think... Ah, um, that would have it, been pretty cool to have some antlers to put on my helmet. I would have looked pretty pretty sweet, I think. I wonder if... Uh, maybe just to be safe... Because I can't remember if it is actually... I know that, like, burning it did cause a, a change, but I wonder... Um, maybe we should bury it now. Or, or we'll have bury the bones once it's done. Yeah, maybe we should burn so it again think... just to be safe. No, burn it, it's still... Burn it twice. It's... It's still I'm, burning. I'm cool with burning it again. No, it's still burning. <laughs> it's still burning. Well, yeah, but when it's done, then we can just burn it again. I mean, that doesn't really change anything. You're not going to be able to burn the bones into dust. You have to question... Wait, I actually don't know that. I mean, I don't really <laughs> either, but it couldn't hurt to burn them twice, right? I mean, it just seems a bit excessive. I mean, that thing was pretty evil. Yeah, he, he was not super nice. I mean, well, it. But... I'm all right with winter when it's winter time, but uh, right now, look at how nice it is. You can you can go but fishing the... in this creek right here, and it's just that it's the bones frozen. will the bones will survive no matter how many times we burn it. And so Are I you think. Sure? 
Could you I'm pretty sure. Why? I don't know. I'm not I'm not good with anatomy. I just It's I think we should once the once it's done burning and it's all just bones, I think at that point we should try burying it. Just in case. Because sure right. what it turns into is evil, but Ooh. at one Does point anybody have a shovel. What? No. <laughs> I go looking for a shovel. Make an investigation check. Uh, sure, you can find a shovel. Oh, look. Oh, do, do, do. oh here we go. <laughs> Wait. Um, I'm so tired. And I'm. I mean, like, you saw Zandria. I'm a weakling. That's not. I don't know if I'm the best person to start shoveling. I will. I will help put the. Well, that's why I'm trying to hand it to 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 Awen over here. No? Yeah, I'll. I mean, you know, I'm the man of God. I'll go ahead and dig the halls and. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. I mean, well, like it. Though it has it. It hasn't been long enough for it to be just bones now, right? Well, uh, no. it'll yeah. take a while to dig a hole too. It's not like I'm that. Okay. You know, I'm not, not like a, an earth moving machine. Okay. He's a man of God, not God. Come on. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> You're expecting too much, Zephyr. <laughs> oh, I'm, I start looking around and I'm like looking for a good place to like bury a bunch of bones. There's still a lot of snow on the ground, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, you would kind of have to move stuff around. Huh. What do you think? Should we just bury his bones right where the, where right where I smashed his face? Yeah, I mean, you might have softened the ground a little, even. That's possible, and then you I know, don't it's remember kind of like, anything about bad about that, so I think it should be okay. I think it's a good spot where we can be like, "Hey, man, I'm sorry I smashed your face in." You know, here have the, have a proper burial. You know, I think that's fair. What do you okay. guys think? I think that's a fair trade. Sounds fair yes. to me. So you're okay. waiting for the bones to to burn down to bones, bury it, and then are you spending the night here, or what? Are you what's next? It's getting to be evening, or uh, wow. yeah, it would be about evening at this point because you guys had been hiking most of the day. Well, when you guys got while to the he's snow. digging, can I take a short rest? Go for it. Play a song of rest for you. Uh, gives you an extra 1d6. If for, you use hit dice. Or one of your hit die. So I have, I roll I a hit, I and roll just, a hit die and an extra 1d6? Yeah. yeah. It, but it's not per hit dice, it's yeah, just, just one once. or more. Okay. Yeah. So... And then how long are you planning on staying here? Ooh. Uh, well, I don't know. I think that Zephyr would not feel comfortable staying here in this. Well, because like in a Wendigo house. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to stay in the Wendigo house, or a, <clears throat> I don't want to stay in the Wendigo house. Uh, but I would start to uh, just looking around to see if there's anything that might be useful to us uh, or this place has been picked bare of um, anything of value mm. Mm. okay there is that... no food in the storage um, there's that... very little yeah that makes sense that since the, the person felt like they had no choice but to eat themselves okay well, I do think that sleeping inside is probably going to be a better option than sleeping outside. Especially if this snow hasn't melted yet. Well, are we close to Stillwaters? Do I have much of an issue? Oh, I thought we were in Stillwater. Yeah, you get... This is... The things that you were told um, said that the trouble was happening and the beast was there in Stillwater. Or Stillwaters. 
and this is still waters. Is this like yeah. on the like the outskirts? Sort of the... Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So um, it shouldn't take us very long to go into the the heart of still waters and see if there's another tavern like place. They've also still... been telling you on the path that most people have evacuated the town. Yeah. Most people. Yeah. Ugh. Everyone's trying to get out. Um, can I? Sorry, I had a question, and I don't want to forget. Is it? Am I going to have much issue like finding my arrows? Uh, we are going to have more an, an issue right now because you're exhausted. Hmm. But you can certainly try. Okay, so let me think. Two went into him. Oh. Well, so those are easy. It's uncomfy, but I guess we could sleep here. Yeah, and it's probably good that we bury him outside, because then you don't have to really think about it, you know? Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, but it's not out of the nose. It smells gross. You're able to find about half of the arrows that you... Rounded up or down? Uh... It was three I was looking for. Up. So, I guess you're finding all of them. I got a, a okay. little bit of incense here. We could, uh, we could just. Does that, you know, does that cover it... dead smell? Oh, it covers most smells. Okay. I really need to learn prestidigitation. Oh, hey, I have prestidigitation. I totally <laughs> forgot about that. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you know, I'll just go ahead and cantrip myself some prestidigitation. <laughs> To okay. remove the smell of burning flesh. There you go, bone. yeah. There you go. Okay, so you smell decent again. Um, and you guys are able to kind of enjoy your jerky and things are relatively calm. Enjoy and is, quiet. A strong, is a strong yeah, word yeah. for this moment. But you know, it's you know, you're trying to get, hold on to the, the, the best precious things in life. Um, I'm fully and, healed, so I'm like humming while I'm eating my drink. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like very frightened humming. Like every time the the house kind of creaks, you're like, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> it just sounds like you have the hiccups a little bit. <laughs> um, Wait, can I real quick? Uh, can I hear Zandria's humming melody real quick? Just. So I can get an idea of what it sounds like. Oh, you want me to do the humming? Yeah, yeah just just real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. There we go. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys are able to rest uneventfully. Um, and then you wake up in the morning, there's still snow on the ground, but the sun is shining. All right. Sun time. Takes away just one level of exhaustion. Yes. So, Awen, you're back to feeling great. Um, I guess I can this, huh? You guys killed that, buried that. Um... The the other two, you are still feeling exhausted. Bye. Come the morning, um, Zandria, you will hear. Zandria, please tell me you're safe. Things are uncertain at home. Your mm -hmm. siblings are going out to protect the forest. Is this common? Have it, has this happened at all? Not super thing? often, but every once in a while, your your mother will kind of check in with you. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Wait, did you? What was her first comment? Please tell me. You're Please safe. tell me you're safe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm 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 safe. Yeah, I can. I was hoping to come visit soon. I'm I'm pretty close. Sixteen response. Okay. Well, everyone, um uh just so you know, my I was wanting to go home and now my mom's 
reaching out to me saying that my siblings need my help. Oh. Are you up for uh, some more adventure? Oh, well. Wait a minute. What does that mean about the Nilshai hunt? Well, I mean, it might bring us to it. I mean, it's not that far. With as much as we know, could be here, could be there. Is there what specifically is going on? Uh, she didn't give me much detail, but my hometown is only to the west. Well, to the west is to the best, I think. <laughs> and... Well, I mean, if we can check the town just to see if there are any people left over, just to let them know that everything is okay now. Oh, for certain. Yes. Oh, yeah, we should probably and then we can, sure. And then we can head there. Then. I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay. Going to the town, um, the people that are still there will be grateful for what you've done for the town um, and grateful to see the sun shine again. Um, and for the first time, they will send out into the woods to try and get some more food. Um, and they will try to offer you food and kind of like look through their food storage and um, pull out like a small little bag of grain um, and hold it out to you. Thank you. Thank you for helping the town. I don't know if we should accept this. You, you have your son Lu and food already. Yeah, I'm, I'm really have... resourceful. I can, I can get, I can get food easily. Uh, thank really you bad. so much for your generosity, but we think that you deserve it more right now. Thank you. Yeah, nutrition is really important, especially for young, growing bodies. I'm sure there's children around that could probably benefit from this. You know, kids can't learn if they're hungry. <laughs> That's true. They got to think of the future, you know. Thank you for coming to town and, and saving us. Oh, we just helped you save yourselves. Don't even worry about it. You're always welcome in Stillwaters if you ever need a place to stay. All right. Well, that was that's a good thing to know. Hopefully, uh, you know, you guys can get this town up and running and back on its feet pretty soon. We'll have to come back and check on your progress. And, you know, if there's anything we can assist with at that time, we'd be more than happy to help. But right now, we've got a quest to go on. We're on a mission from God, you see. And also his mom. Her mom. Her mom. Her mom. Okay, okay well, Gender good luck with that. Tracker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, uh, heading west through the the forest, um, the snow will eventually fade, and the days will get much warmer. Um, and after about two days, um, kind of singing and humming along as you're going traveling in the woods. Uh, you will stumble across as you're, you're, Sandra, you know you're about, you know, half a day at most from Mithranor. Um, when you stumble across a group of what appear to be adventurers, mages, there's a, um, a sort of androgynous half, um, a short and wiry kind of looking gnome, um, a an elven girl with hair and a bird person, and that's where we're gonna end it. So we will be back on. I almost said November, February tenth. Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna be playing next week because stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll be back February tenth for finally the party gets together, and maybe finds a Nilshai. Oh boy. Wouldn't so. that be something? <laughs> Holy there, don't you know. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight. And that's all I gotta say about that. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, thanks, bye. bye. Let's make sure Sawyer's here.